So how do all your characters know each other, by the way? Do we know uh, each other? I thought I we all just do. got the invite into the, the castle for the challenge. I What's mean, the there is a... Name? There is a general notification that the uh, the uh, the crypt would be opening for people who wanted to try to go in and receive the artifacts from it. Mm -hmm. So you guys all got a general notification, but I'd assume you guys somewhat know each other. We could be drinking buddies if we all go to the same place to drink. Um, my background specific feature, let's see if I can find it in... So as a pirate, I have a feature called Bad Reputation. And so no matter where you go, people are afraid of you due to your reputation. When you're in a civilized settlement, you can get away with minor crim criminal offenses, such as refusing to pay for food at the tavern or breaking down doors at a local shop. It's most people will not report your activity to the authorities. So, so I was going have... to be best friends with Josh, but I think I'm going to be best friends with you now. Because okay. <laughs> I want a dead Dyna Dash. <laughs> you want Dyna Dash? I probably pay for you guys when you Dyna Dash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I'm just like a nice guy. I'm like, no, it's okay. I got those guys. They're weird. <laughs> uh, you're going to run turn. out of money real fast. <laughs> I mean, you're you're going to start the like, ripping off magic shops and be like, oh, sorry, buddy. But if you're just going to run out on dinner, that's easy to cover. You know, I think my character has a small little um, shanty somewhere that he lives in by himself, lonesome. He's a very lonely guy. Okay. Uh, I, mean, I have a few posters. They're my friends. If you're lone, if you're a lonely dude, I'll probably show up and try to get you to come out drinking. And you know what I mean. My character will actively seek friendship with whoever he happens to bump into, and if you try to avoid it, it just Makes him do it more. Hmm. There's no consent in any of this. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you're just forcing yourself onto me. I mean, come on, let's go out and have a drink. I'll buy it. It's, you know, it's paybacks for what you did to his mom. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you're going to spawn me, you're going to hang out with me. <laughs> I'm kind of going for maybe a cross between um, Downer's Son and Carrot from the Nightwatch books. Oh, I know Adolin. I don't know yep. what Carrot means. Uh, Carrot from Nightwatch books is just like he's like super brawny like and tough and, and all of these things that would make him a horrible person run into a dark alley, but he's just like like always nice. He's nice to everybody. Even when he's subduing someone, he's usually like, hey, sorry that I have to do this, and I really don't want to hurt you, but... <sighs> I think I just so screwed up my entire court. overlay. Let's see. Oh, no, we'll see what happens right. as the game progresses. I don't know if I can pull this off, but I'm going to try to be like the super nice guy. So I guess from my description, Alex, what I imagined this setup as being kind of like the beginning of charlie and the chocolate factory where we were all coming together to go into the candy factory but we we only sort of know each other. i mean yeah there might be the reason that we're set up as a team like maybe we kind of know each other from we frequent the same establishment and when it was time to go do this on a whim like i was like hey come on you guys should come with me we should do this together like why not it'll be fun and you guys happen to have a few drinks and you so you agreed Maybe something like that. Like, we might not be best friends, but we might know each other enough. If you guys don't have any reason that your characters would interact like that, I can have it set up so that Roland advised that you go as a group. Okay. Maybe like the random roll. You guys are now a party. Go. I have a I lot of religion, up. so I probably am okay friends with Matt over there. Daniel. Yeah. Uh, my, my character <coughs> it was taken off the streets he was a kind of troubled kid on his own uh and <clears throat> a priest uh, happened to come upon him as he was stealing some shit and offered him a 
protection and life in the church. What is your background called? I'm an alkalite. Acolyte? Yeah. Acolyte. Um, what are you, I'm guessing Carver's a thief? Nope, his background is haunted one. Haunted one. Oh, yeah. I'm the edgy Jack. emo kid. Right. I'm the guild artisan. Like, I'm a carpenter. It's the thing I do. So let's see. Matt is Daniel. Brian is Carver. Uh, who's Brian and Josh? Uh, I'm Jack. Jack? I'm Hobbenvald. Hobbenvald? Um, Hobben. H O B B E N V or W A L D. I'm just going to call you Hob. Technically, Hobby? my my full name is Quartermaster Hobbenwald Bloom Dancer. That didn't yep. fit on the overlay, man. Sorry. I know. I saw that you just put it. <laughs> hey, you open uh, up, how's it going? <laughs> if you have Twitch open, you can kind of see. Yeah, it's got a it's... picture of you and your bird. Me and, me and the bird that I no longer have. You'll have him again him. as soon as you can summon him from the ether. Don't worry. Well, we, yeah, it was a good I'm, dinner. I'm, I'm going to... Cl- I'm going to clone my my dead parrot friend as soon as I learn to find familiar. I also just noticed that uh, everyone's uh, got their name when they roll, so I had all those before asking, but that's fine. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, let's see. So uh, you guys know that tomorrow morning that they're going to be opening the crypt? Uh, is there anything that you guys wanted to do before you head out there? Are you guys going to be going out there to come have a couple drinks and celebrate before we go? Um, hey, let's have a night in the town. I mean, we're going to be going in tomorrow. Might as well get to know each other. Uh, so, does anybody have? I'm, I'm guessing as level zero, we don't have any sort of healing abilities. No. Is that correct? <laughs> <laughs> so, we have a little bit of gold. A very, very little bit. Very little bit. If I am going to sustain any injuries, I am going to want to drink some of the magic potions. Can we even afford one of those? I have no idea. Out of it. Yeah, yeah, I, I got they... no money, man. In in game I probably know that we can't. We cannot. Let's see. If we pulled all of our money, I don't think we can afford one potion. Here, let me see how much money I got. Currency. I have ten. Oh, shit. What? I got zero. It right. looks like a healing potion is 50 gold. <laughs> oh, that's a nope. That's a hard nope. Hey, I know a place where they have quote-unquote magic potions. Come on. Come with me. You can't give uh, inspiration to yourself, Matt. I, I hang my head. <laughs> Nice try. Come on, on, Hob. You know you want to. I'm walking there. Okay. (laughs) Yeah, so it'll open in the morning. So you know that some people have uh, kind of set up camp to open up early. Be the first ones in. I don't know if you guys want to set up camp or if you wanted to just go there in the morning. That's not my plan. I want to carouse and have a good time. Yeah, I'll set up camp and uh, wait. Really? Me. Come on, you don't have to set up camp. Come on. I'd rather not. Uh, hey, so is it like opening for a new video game where there's like a line of people camped out? Are the camps in a line or something? A uh, you've gotten the idea that there's about 30 people that are going to be going there. So it's not a huge line, but it is a small encampment out there. Okay, what if we set up camp and then we come back and crash here after we go have a good time together? Who are you asking? Uh, You, mostly, but the group in general. It looks like Hob's willing to come with me. Come on, Hob. Anybody else? Nobody? You just want to leave all your stuff out here and risk it being taken. (laughs) What stuff? Look at us. We're all basically broke. We can walk with our stuff on our back. But you could leave a tent here. Or hey, what if we pay yeah, the guys in front of it? Bed rolls. I don't know. 
I lay down in my ourselves. spot in line, and I pull my arms and head and legs in. <laughs> you got it. To sleep inside my shell. Got okay. You guys stay here. I'll be back. <laughs> okay. I, I mean, I go to get drinks to carry out. I guess <laughs> four cool drinks for four cool guys. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Maybe take okay. uh, take Daniel with you. Dan, you coming? Oh no! Oh no! Come on, <laughs> dear, nobody. Dear friend Jack, you just you be yourself. You go out and you have a good day. You come back and get some rest. Yeah. All right. I'll be back, guys. Okay, Alex. I'm gonna go and get like. How much is it to get a like a decent amount of alcohol to bring back? Can I get like a mini keg or something, or a couple of pints, or how does that work? Uh, I'll say for five silver, you could uh, get a large amount of drinks for everyone. Okay, so can I spend a gold and also bring back food? Sure. Okay, so I do. I spend a gold and we got equipment. Where's your monies? One gold. Goodbye. You just and spending. bring back. I have, a, I have like a, I don't know, like a burlap sack full of crap that I bring. I've got drinks for everybody and food. And I try to make a party of it. I even, hell, I'll spend two gold and bring enough drinks and food for the guys up to either side of us in line. Okay. Uh... going be a problem. <laughs> no man this isn't a problem this is like hey we're just trying to have a good time i thought we were trying to retrieve historical artifacts that's not until tomorrow hob tonight is tonight tomorrow's tomorrow come on so i try to get the guys next to us into it and i build the fire up and like I don't have any performance, but I'm just going to try to basically see if any of them can play the loot and get some music going. And I have a question okay. for the DM. Yep. Mm -hmm. Do people survive this journey? Or is this like a one-way trip for everyone? Uh, it's been advertised as something that, you know, you can... It's, it's basically been advertised like a fair thing where it's like you can go in and try to get the ancient artifact, but... There's people who have their doubts about how safe it is because no one's been in there for 10 generations. So it's been thousand years since anyone's went in oh. there. Nobody really knows what to oh. expect. No one's tried it yet. Nope. Uh, I'd we'll like to go fine. on the second group, please. <laughs> uh, we'll yeah. Fine. Are we first so in line? Basic, uh, some basic backstory is basically the king went off to... Uh, fight a war uh there was a neighboring country that uh had some uh territorial disputes and so he went off in the war to try to help them and then while he was away the uh princess got kidnapped uh there's rumored to be artifacts in there that are very powerful and the uh king's advisors made an announcement that they are opening the uh royal crypt so that people can receive the artifacts and try to use them to rescue the princess it's the classic sword in the stone story yep got it is I'm there any try... sign that says you have to be this tall to ride because <laughs> i'm not gonna pass that no uh it is uh oh. kind of mentioned that everything is <laughs> was that your charisma roll that was my so career. The... You can keep okay. the crowd beer. into it. <laughs> I fail horribly, it turns out. Uh, wow, so the guy I'm next to you... Likeable. I'm just annoying. I think I'm likable, but people hate my guts. Okay. <laughs> the guy next to you, uh, you would know as uh, Jaden Hoover. Okay. He's a local uh, wealthy merchant. Oh, nice. And he's got a group of uh, three cell swords with him. And okay. he's got a more impressive display than you. And kind of turns his nose up at your offer to share because he's already feel like he's <laughs> more than taken care of. I mean, I don't take it personally. That's fine. You just got to get to know him.
I yeah. spread the for whoever wants it. Sweet. I'm sure there are other people in line that like are hungry and or would like a drink. Yeah, there's a there's a few that'll uh, sit down and have some food and drink with you. Okay. That's how I pass the night. If you guys just sit there like lumps on a log, that's fine. I'll still sit next to you and talk to you. And I will drink the ale. I'll go back to my tent and sleep. I gotta be prepared. I don't think we have tents. I think we have bedrolls. Well, but... I don't even know if I have that, honestly. What do I got? Yeah. I would be sleeping up against the tree. Yep. I guess I'm sleeping on the ground. I got no equipment. That oh, man. That. Really? I got some equipment, but no bedrolls, no tents. Uh, let's see, do I have a bedroll? I got, I got a, a dungeon roll. starter kit because that came with my character. <clears throat> I have a bedroll. I am not sharing your bedroll. You can have mine. I will definitely take you up on that offer. Yeah, that's cool. You sleep in the bedroll. I'm just going to kind of curl up in my cloak. I'll be fine. Uh, morning comes. Uh, this is kind of the entrance to the crypt. Uh, it's got a kind of a blue shield covering over the entrance so that nobody can currently go in. Uh, early in the morning, uh, the three king's advisors uh, arrive via horseback. And uh, Grunty and Roland come up to the entrance of the crypt while uh, Sienna... Uh, stays by the horses. Uh, Roland clears his voice to command attention and uh, begins to speak. This crypt has been sealed for a thousand years. Inside, there are rumors to be artifacts that can help us re uh, retrieve the princess before the king gets back from the war. Those of you brave enough to enter may do so as at your own peril. Any who emerge with the artifacts will instantly be recognized as heroes and will be uh, offered to go assist the princess so that she may be returned. Uh, he holds up an amulet and uh, mutters some incantations, and the opening to the crypt, the blue shielding, disappears and reveals the uh, the bare entryway. And he steps aside. <clears throat> Where are we in the queue? Uh, it was more of a gathering around it. Uh, there are people that rush towards the door pretty much as soon as it opens up. Okay put my foot out and try to trip someone who's rushing. Which one? Your peg leg or your other leg? <laughs> I, got, got, I got real legs. Oh, nice. You should totally have a peg leg, though. That would be the jam. Well, maybe by the end of the day. <laughs> Do you try to trip anyone in particular or just a random person? No, nope, just a stranger. Whoever is on my left. So they try to rush past. <laughs> they roll a natural 20 to dodge. <laughs> they don't even notice me. Fine. Yeah. They step over your foot and uh, continue to the entry anyway. All right. Well, I don't run. I walk. I'm okay. Besides Hob. <clears throat> oh. All right, man. You ready for this? So, let's see. Uh, you, short one. You ready, too? I'm ready. I suppose. Does it look Did like you not hear them kinda... say, at your peril? Yeah. Then why don't they go? We're. That's why we're letting them run. <laughs> we'll just watch what happens to them, I guess. Yeah. Hey, all we have to do all we have to do is go in one room, wait for somebody else to get the artifacts, and then on their way back out, 
we relieve them of their minds. <laughs> I'd bump your shoulder. You're hilarious. That's great. Come on, don't you guys want to have the adventure? I mean, I'm really looking forward to having the artifact. Right, but, but I, I think that the whole experience is part of it, you know? Shoot. Right. Are you what so kind of experience are you looking for? I don't know, like being the big damn hero experience. I light a torch. Let's have, go. Have anyone gone in yet? Oh yeah, there's uh, one group that with the merchant that went in almost immediately. It seems like most of the other people aren't necessarily in a group. They're going in individually. So we're not like in a wait your turn kind of situation. Nah. No, you can enter whenever you're ready. Um, yeah, you go in front. Uh, who, me? All of you. I'll watch the, I'll watch the flank. Yeah, okay, that sounds fine. Come on, Hob, I guess it's me and you. Uh, all right, right, so I walk. I'll be holding the torch. And... Yeah, I walk in back to Hob and pull my axe out. Yeah, what are we looking at here? Okay, uh, you enter the crypt. It's got this kind of a look to it. Uh, there's alcoves on either side of you, and there's a, a few that are filled with, uh... Can I look over? Yeah, I don't see any. What, what, kind oh. of, what, are, what are we looking Shoot. at? I forgot to... Look at there it. we oh, go. Ooh. How's that? Ooh. Yeah, there's a thing. Nice. Oh, crazy. Little handsy bits. Yeah, and, uh, you do see some that are filled with, uh, bodies. That look like they're long decayed. Nice. How this is right up my alley. How do I dish the faces? Oh, you're doing what to the faces? <laughs> um, <laughs> let me see. There what is... are you doing? So on roll twenty, he's seeing the squares. Oh, faces. there's a uh, a wheel cog. Uh, there's. Under chat avatars, there's player video avatar size. I changed mine to name only. That's what I thought. Um, game settings. Oh, here we go. Regular names only. Boop. There we go. Cool. Thanks. Uh, um. So this is this wide enough for two to walk down, or is Doesn't this one? Look like it. Looks like most. Yeah, of one it, time. it's kind of one, one uh, at a time, unless you want to really be comfortable in bumping elbows with somebody. I would like to um, search a body. Okay, uh, go ahead and make an uh, investigation <laughs> check. <laughs> what? I guess. Pretty sure he doesn't have the uh, artifact, man. <laughs> I searched the uh, first body I see. Uh, it appears to have some ornamental crown and uh, sword and shield. Doesn't appear to have anything that's really usable. Is there anyone behind me watching? Uh, you see somebody who looks like they're crouched down. About uh, 20 feet ahead, but uh, there's nobody behind you. I would like to take the crown, please. <laughs> okay. You do so. If we're finally in single file and no one else tries to go first, I'll probably end up in front by default, but I'm not necessarily trying to take the lead. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I let you. Yeah, so, I'm sure you do. I knew. Alex, yeah. Will we know the artifacts once we see them, or are they Bye, familiar images to us, or uh, is it just you? Like, honestly, don't, don't really know anything about the artifacts. Maybe this is one of them. I'm sure we'll recognize them. Hey, look! I got one of the artifacts already. I don't think that's true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, you go first, then. Now that you're all magic. No, 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 I'll still watch our flanks. Thank you for the offer. All right. Okay, Hob, he's scared. It's I'm not scared. Us. I just know self-preservation. 
Like I said, he's scared. It's okay. Sure, whatever you want. Nothing wrong with being afraid. So we walk up toward the person who's crouched about 20 feet ahead of us. Yep. Uh, you sure. do notice as you approach him that he has a arrow in his knee. He's kind of oh. bent over going, oh. Man, are you all right? <laughs> and this is do why I you always send right? someone in front of you? Where'd that arrow come from? Uh, I don't know. I stepped on a rock that moved and it shot this into my mm. knee. So I oh, grab him by I'll the step. shoulders, stand him up so that he's facing down the hallway still, and I see the angle that the arrow is coming from. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you do see a rock that's still depressed, and it looks like there's a uh, small crossbow on the left-hand side Ooh. that appears to have had arrow locked and shot when the trap was triggered. Okay, okay. so who's Enjoy good your track? afternoon off, and I pass him back toward the entrance yeah i'll pass him back past me i'm like here buddy don't worry we'll help you somebody get him outside <laughs> i just let him pass by me someone who's, behind will help you who's good yeah. at finding traps you're the rogue i am not <laughs> a rogue <laughs> i am a halfling buddy i look at you obviously with some sort of racist implication <laughs> what do you want uh, from me? What's up? What do you want from me? You want I me mean, to go ahead and take an arrow to the knee? No, I'm just thinking maybe you're good at, like, sussing out if there's traps. Just saying, it's a possibility. Well, didn't, like, 40 people file ahead of us? I feel like uh, that's going to be 40 people sussing out the traps. Okay. That's true. Just I keep mean, following well people like this. Uh, how about you? You want to go first? Me? No, Hob. Oh, you're yeah. Pretty you're pretty solid. Uh, all right. Yeah. If something happens to you, I'll carry you through. I promise. Yep. I, I walk forward. I pat you ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the other 39 people stepped over that stone? He was just the first one to take it to the knee. I mean, that's possible. I'm right behind you, buddy. Seems like um, as we get past that area, I see if I can make a check. Investigation, I think. Investigation check? Invest traps? Investigation is traps? Yeah. 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 It's 17. <laughs> I am not seeing. I don't know why, how come I'm not seeing what you guys are rolling? Uh, it's on the left tab where there's the arrow the or bubble. the uh, bubbles. The chat bubbles. You should have a bar along the right side of your screen. Yeah. Chat bubbles, journal info. So click on chat. Yeah, I know. Like it, it has you guys' names, but it doesn't show what you rolled. I think oh, you are a bug. The thing that you're rolling is showing up certainly different. Like I'm rolling from roll twenty, or I'm sorry, D and D Beyond. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks have, weird. Do you have Twitch open also? No. So I have Twitch open on my phone. Well, I mean, if you're looking at Twitch, you can kind of see yeah. how your your bubbles look. No. Yeah, that's because I'm rolling from roll 20. Well, we're all or, rolling I'm from sorry, roll 20. D &D. I'm sorry, D&D &D Beyond. I'm rolling from D&D Beyond. Oh, yeah, Beyond. that's what we're all doing. Yeah, we are. Yep. Yeah. But I can't see yours. Are you on Chrome or Firefox? Chrome. Just I would like uh, also say shift Control delete and clear your cache. And then reload mm -hmm. the tab, and maybe that'll help you. Well, he's not looking, I'd just like to roll sleight of hand and clear his cash. Clear data. Uh, clear cash, not data. Do you have sleight of hand? That's awesome. I was seeing him before. I'm just going to look at the settings real quick. 
It's so 17 good. investigation. Uh, you do uh, continue on uh, about 50 feet, and uh, you do find a trap that looks like it was disabled already. Looks mm -hmm. like somebody already came across it. Uh, another 20 feet, you find another one that appears to have uh, also been triggered, but you don't see anybody around. Mm -hmm. uh, all, three them the, all three of them are the same. It's all crossbows. Huh. Are they all low crossbows? Down at knee height? Uh, not all of them are. Oh. Uh, one of them is uh, chest height about. Oh, I'd walk right under that left. shit. Yeah, which is the last one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even come up to your chest, man. I'm so short. So this is an interesting question. I mean, you know, I make things for a living. I'm a carpenter. I wonder how long the bowstring on a crossbow lasts. A thousand years. <laughs> Evidently. <laughs> bowstrings. Not a lot of stuff in here seemed to decay, including the bodies and this crown. Huh. Uh, so up ahead, you guys see a what appears to be a blue shimmering portal. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't see that on the description. Yeah, I throw a rock okay. at it. Yep. Okay. Goes through. Huh. Doesn't appear to hit anything. Is it oh. up against the wall? Like I can walk around behind it? Or... Oh. Nope. It's a. Uh, it's basically in the pathway. So is that a trap, or is that where we're supposed to go? Yeah, is this the trap that ate everybody else? <laughs> right, that's what I'm wondering. I mean, you don't see anybody else around. Um. Hey, anybody got a rope? I might actually. Let me check. Well, a crowbar, he's looking, a hammer. While he's looking for a rope, I'd like to lay my hand on his shoulder and toss him through. <laughs> here, I think I got a rope right here. Let me check. I got one right here. <laughs> For real? <laughs> Did you want to roll a contested uh, athletics? I would like to roll my dexterity, please. <laughs> okay, dexterity. <laughs> I think it would be Brian would have to roll athletics. Oh, and you can fuck. choose between <laughs> dexterity. And... <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> If I die... Enjoy the fucking Stargate. <laughs> if I die, I just want you Wait. to know that I will haunt you for life. Did you roll it? Because I didn't see anything roll. I oh, rolled 13. a 19. He rolled a 13. Ah, uh, there you go. You, up. So you go through the portal. Oh, I had one end of the rope, and I was going to hand it to someone. I'll try to snatch it on the way by. <laughs> here, I think I got it right here. Oh, shit! I make a grab for the rope. <laughs> Not for the halfling, just for the rope. I hate you. <laughs> that was my plan all along. Someone go in, someone else hold the rope. So this is what you see when you go through. Oh, There's a, a small walkway. And it goes about, into the uh, water? Yep, six feet wide. Submerges into the water. Is it slick stone, or is the stone dry? Oh, it is slick stone. And sometimes the current, the waves, come up to... Uh, the top of the stone, so... I'm gonna try to, like, throw my arms around the rail in. Okay. No, oh, dear... Do you drop your end of the rope? Um, well, I haven't even uncoiled it yet. <laughs> I don't know how, <laughs> how much rope actually came. Number one, do I have a piece of the rope? Yeah, you have a piece of the rope, I'll say. Okay. So he went so... through, I start reeling him back in. If you're not holding onto the rope, then you would just reel back the entire rope. Yeah, I wasn't really technically holding on to it. He caught okay. me off guard. I pulled the rope back through. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, down, oh. a, down a halfling. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> I look at Hob. Well. Mm. <laughs> uh, I, I look at Daniel. <laughs> And I put I look my at... hand on his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll go. I'll go. Here, Hob, hold one end of this rope and 
give me the count of five before you start reeling me back in, okay? All right. I wrap my arm around one end of the rope. So I've got a pretty good grip on it. And I go through. Okay. Uh, you see a scared halfling holding onto the rails and on a I'm, submerged. I'm not scared. Semi-submerged. You're say, not scared? No. Quick. <laughs> We've got a count of five. Give me your hand. This is the way we're supposed to go? Why would I give you my hand? I pull okay. the rope. Bye. I go back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You come I'm back out. I'm slowly make my way down to the water and dip my toes in. Hey, okay. it's safe. I think it just goes to some water somewhere, but it seems okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, if you come back through, then let's go. Yeah, I'm like, he's over there, but he thinks that's where we're supposed to go, so I, I say we just go for it. I would also like to do an investigation check while I'm here. Okay. I'm looking for footprints in the water, like uh, marks that people would make. Like Jesus. Okay. No, not on wrong. the water. In the water. On the stone, really. All right. Investigation. I can do this. I can do this. 22. 22. Uh, you do not see any signs of footprints because uh, apparently anything that uh, would have been there would be washed away by the current that submerges different parts of the path. Maybe but blood prints see... or marks on the railing as well? Uh, you don't see anything like that. However, you do see uh, there appears to be a small pack that is in the water bobbing against Ooh. the rails. Ooh, how far away? Uh, it looks like it is about 20 feet away. 20 You'd have to go and like swim right there? in order to get to it. Yeah, about right there. Could I hold on to the railing to get it? Yeah, you can hold on to the rail the entire way if you want. Yeah, I'm going to do that. In fact, I'm going to kind of slide down on my sure. butt. Oh, we split the party. Peace, Ryan. <laughs> and the rest of you go through? I mean, I'll go through after I told you guys. I think it's safe, and blah, blah, blah. Okay, and you guys all come to the same walkway and uh, you see him sliding down on his butt apparently reaching out to try to get a pack I have to reach really far I almost got it hey guy that might not be great <laughs> I got it I'm just holding on one hand arms outstretched fingers outstretched all the way to try to reel the pack back in well, come on Jack let's go get him uh, okay okay all right. Uh, go ahead and I... make a deck 30 check just to see how well you do at grabbing the deck Waiting for the one. Did that work? No, it did not. Try it again. There we go. There you go. Okay. You managed to get a hold of it. I'll loop my get fingers a... around a little loop on it, pull it back in. How big of the pack is it? Is it like a pouch or is it actual like a traveler's pack? Uh, it's a smaller one. Uh, getting a closer look at it, you think that it might have belonged to one of the mercenaries that, or the cell swords that went with the merchant. That's foreboding. I will slowly make my way back up the uh, slick stone. Okay. Holding on. To and the inside, rail. you you do find inside a uh, a normal healing potion. No, oh, sweet. I slip it into my pocket for any more throwy incidents. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you guys can see the path because of the the hand railing, but other than that, most of it's submerged in the water. Where do you suppose we go? Uh, hey, you're aquatic, aren't you, buddy? And I start walking. I'll go, I'll go behind Hob. I will also go behind Hob. I will also go behind Hob. If it gets to be looking like I'm going to go over my head, I would take a deep breath. I can't actually breathe underwater, but I can hold my breath for a third amount of time. I just hang on to the railing. Yeah, at no point does it actually go over your head. 
Okay. Uh, it just uh goes up to about waist high, which is so probably my more like neck high. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Could you? I hate to ask this; so it's a little embarrassing. Could you give me a lift? I look at yeah, Daniel. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. How brawny is Daniel? I got ten hit points. No, no. How like beefcake? Are you muscular? No, I'm average. No, you're Ow. you're more than average, man. Come on. Okay, I can just <laughs> let him take him. That's fine. You have like a what? Thirteen strength. Uh, twelve or yeah, thirteen. You got that. That weigh like fifty pounds, if even. Maybe soaking wet, which I'm half soaking wet right now. <laughs> So you uh, manage to get about halfway through the path. You see another shimmering portal, similar to the previous one that you saw. Uh, I like uh, how no one here is even talking about the fact that we just went through a fucking portal. And I no mean, one seems to care. magic artifacts, maybe there's a magic path. Who knows? Who knows? This is ridiculous. I think it's been a great story. This is good stuff. Uh, as you guys get about a halfway path, or halfway across, you see a uh, a large yellow eye in the water, hmm. about sixty feet wide, open up. Oh, sixty feet wide eye, sixty foot wide eye. Yes, I climb Ooh. further up onto the <laughs> shoulders of. <laughs> I, I kind of soda whisper to Hob. I'm like, I think you should go faster. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, everyone, go ahead and make a uh, wisdom save. Make a oh. run save. What? what? <laughs> a what? A wisdom save. There's mine. Oh, uh, that's bad for me. <laughs> Fuck off, Captain Crispy. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, and... join in. <laughs> Jack, be joining the sea monster. Yeah. Yeah, so Throw Carver and Captain Crispy uh, <gasps> both roll a dexterity check to see how well you do at keeping your balance. Well, well I'm not here. actually, um, I'm wrapped around the shoulders of Daniel. Yep, it's just to see how well you do at holding on. Not good. Is this a dexterity save? Yeah, it would be a dexterity save. We're not proficient right now, it's the same thing. Oh, we're not yeah. proficient? No, we're zero, man. Oh, shit. I do better than you. Yeah, you do. Okay. So you managed to hold on to uh to Daniel, but uh Captain Chris or uh let's see. Jack goes into the water. <gasps> so he slips and he I, falls I, in. Do you still got the rope? You're befuddled or uh you just were caught off guard and super surprised and it caused you to lose your balance. So I'm like, whoa, that thing's huge. Oh it's shit. Bloop. I go in. Yep. Good thing you're not wearing your armor. Yeah. Does he still have an end of the rope in his hands? I mean, I have the rope probably over my shoulder. Did anyone else have part of the rope? No. We're not that smart. Throw him the rope! Throw him the rope! There you go. (laughs) Yeah, whoever had that. I Oh, he had it. Well, (laughs) shit. See if you throw the rope. (laughs) I have no more rope. Can I attempt to swim back? Or am I just getting sucked out? You can you can swim back. Okay, let's see. Boop. Can I swim back? Yeah, I rolled a fourteen. Okay. Yeah, I'll see you swim back to the. the you needed to roll and see if you could swim. It. What's up? You needed to roll to see if you could swim. I mean, I don't know if there's a current or whatever. There's, there's a, a giant little bit of a current. Eye. Giant eye. So I'm like, whoa, that thing's crazy, Hob. Get out of here. <laughs> Why are you still standing there, man? Go, go. We, we are waiting on you. Yeah, I'm good. Let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quit me swishing through the water. Okay. You guys Hold make it to the... the really. You make it to the blue portal. Mm-hmm. Yep, through, through, through. Looks like everyone else just ran past this, so that's the idea. Unless they all got eaten by the... At least somebody did. If the eyeball can eat things, we are screwed. 
I just push out through the portal and I go after him. So the new room that you enter, uh, it has a super uh, clean look to it. Uh, it's essentially metal inside uh, indoors. And uh, you see a small set of couches in the center. Uh, it would it looks basically like a lobby compared to uh, what we're used to seeing. But for you guys, it seems really weird. Uh, you do uh, the the top is domed and you get a slight shadow of being able to see what's outside, though not very clear, similar to if you had uh, tinted windows on a car. Okay. And you see uh, very large shadows moving in the background. Are they crawling over the dome or like hovering above the dome? Or can you tell? Uh, it looks more like a very distant thing. And every now and then you hear what appears to be large footfalls. Is there a door? Uh, you look across from where you entered and there appears to be uh, what looks to be an outline of a door, but it is currently shut. Man, and nobody is... else in this room? Uh, you see one or two people. Uh, one of them is uh, on the right side, kind of investigating uh, a small uh, opening. And then there's another person on the uh, on the couch. Just lounging? Yep. I'm going to go try to glean whatever info I can from the investigating person. Okay. I'm I'm going to go over to the person laying on the couch. Uh, who wants to talk first? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we split it up. Ryan, go for it. Oh, well, I'm just going to see what he's looking at and um, try to be as unintrusive as I can. But okay. with my... Um, really awesome charisma of plus one. What did you find there? Or what you looking for? I don't know. I'm. I mean, I'm here looking for an artifact. Oh, there I think I already found one. It's this crown on my head. I'm just looking for more. Did you already check the door? Obviously, you checked the door, uh, right? Everyone. Yeah, I can't get it to open. And you're just staring at a wall? Uh, so what he's looking at is kind of like a, if there was a reception desk. He's back behind the desk and he's trying to like... There's It appears to be some sort of hatch opening that he's trying to, to, to get open. That's on the floor. Uh, it's It would be... For a reception desk, it would be uh, like a, a drawer inside of it. Oh, in the desk itself. Yeah. Here, I can I can maybe get a better look. I'll uh, duck down, look underneath. Okay. Uh, there appears to be a lock of some sort on the bottom, but uh, it re looks like it were to require a key. I don't think there's any way you're gonna get this open. Just saying, mm -hmm. and I walk off. I'm gonna look for a key. Okay. He still fiddles with it after you walk off. You go to the guy who's uh, lounging on the uh, the uh, couch. Mr. Hey man, Robin you gotta Hood. try this. Come on, sit down. I sit down. Uh, as you sit down, you feel something move underneath you. Mm. Yep. It, so. seems, <laughs> it seems to adjust so that uh, it kind of holds your pressure points. Very comfortable to sit down in. Yes, amazing. Uh, I, you come with that one? Can I point over to the person behind the desk? Nah, we came separate, but he doesn't look like he's doing much. Kind of wasting his time over there. 
I have an idea. So I'm going to get up, and I'm going to walk over to the guy behind me. Uh, as you get up, it actually pushes you out of the chair as well. So it kind of gives you the grandpa help up. Oh, holy That's shit. Awesome. Okay, well, wait a second. I actually sit back down. <laughs> <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> this Not... is what all old people need. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty excellent. Mm, yeah, I sit back down. And then... And then I'll, after another couple seconds, if they're really comfortable, yeah, I'll, I'll get back up. Yep, does the same thing. Oh, that is very. But I try not to mention it to anybody else because I think this might be my artifact. <laughs> <laughs> Every now and then, you do hear what sounds to almost like blue whales on the outside. And only it has uh, more of a disconnect uh, rather than being a, a, a solid noise. It's more like if you could imagine a, a whale purring where it's got that kind of vibration in it. Hmm. I don't think I know what a blue whale is. I don't know. Do you have nature? No. <laughs> Me either. But I know what a 60 foot giant eye is. Mm. Do you think that perhaps maybe we, um, maybe up there is where we came from? And that's all water outside the dome. Oh, that's a, that's a weird thought. Scary thought if you think about it. Mm. One crack in the, whatever that is, is this stone? Uh, it looks like a sheen metal. Yeah, whatever this but is. But you don't see any seams in it. Is it all the way around walls included, this material? Yep. Uh, not the see-through part. That's just the domed top. The walls are still round, but they don't have any seams in them at all. It seems like it's one big piece, which would be very hard for anyone to do. I try to scratch it. Okay. With my dagger. Doesn't seem to leave a mark. Hmm. Well, I'll go do what everyone should do and check the door. <laughs> okay. Uh, there is a small crack as far as like the door openings go, but it's more like it's more like an elevator door. It's seam in the middle and it's got yep seam in the middle is it solid is there markings engravings words i speak four languages uh completely smooth no markings or anything is there a keyhole no keyhole hey let me see your dagger for a minute i say i toss it to him i the try to jam the dagger into the crack Okay. Don't break the tip of the dagger. It. Barely fits in there, but it does slide in. Would you rather have I... this than I pull out a crowbar? Yes, actually. <laughs> <laughs> can I have that back, please? I try to put the crowbar in next to the dagger and see if I can get the crowbar in. Okay. If you use the dagger to start it, you can get the crowbar in there. Sweet. Once the crowbar's in, I hand the dagger back and then I push on the crowbar and try to wedge the opening open. Hey, Daniel, okay. you should come help him. I'll go over here and give him a hand. Well, yeah, the other two you. that uh, were doing other things also come over and uh, grab the sides and try to help pry it open. This is like a, a two-man job only, guys. You so, guys got five. With advantage? Strength yep, check? go ahead and roll a strength check at advantage. 18? Okay. Uh... You guys managed to get the door open. <gasps> we so did it. Always uh, come prepared. <laughs> yeah, man. Good call. There... I'll take that crowbar back now. Does it look oh, like hey, a, they're a hallway? You want or is a it rope, too? Um, you can hold on to that. All right. 
And you can watch out for that guy over there. I point towards the turtle. Make sure he doesn't uh, try anything again. I mean, he's all right, man. No, he's not all right. <laughs> You're all right. Everything worked he out. Threw me through the fucking portal. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you should talk to him about it. I'm not very good at talking. I, pu I push him into the elevator. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> I try to kick you away. If you come to push the half -play. I'm like, all right, cut it out. That's, that's enough, man. <laughs> I got Leave a alone. friend. I see a big blank cam. Oh, there we go. I, I don't see anything yet. I rolled 20. Minutes black. Scroll to the bottom. Oh. oh, there we go. So there's six pillars to your left and right. Uh, Immediately move away. <laughs> uh, away from the turtle as you guys uh, enter you see there is a large creature huh? that is currently standing over a body of hmm. what you recognize to be the merchant guy oh snap uh, I say uh, hey couch boy other minion get your ass in here <laughs> come back over here and I'm like hey guys come on I'm to go so you guys get a pop-up? Oh, yep. no. Mm -hmm. That's, That's what you guys see in front of you. Uh, the, two two guys red that, shirts. <laughs> the two guys who were helping you open up the door immediately look at each other and then just book it the other way. Which way is the other way? Uh, back where you guys came. They basically just let the door close after we go through. <laughs> yeah. So we force the door open. Does it stay jammed open or does it slide closed? And we're kind of stuck in here now. Uh, it's slowly slided shut. Uh, yeah, this yeah. wall right here is a good hiding spot. So is that where the door I... was on the stairs? <clears throat> yep. Yeah, that's where the door entryway was. So I imagine that carpenters use more than one kind of axe to shape wood, correct? Yeah. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, he's 35 feet away from me. Uh, he's more like 40, 45. Okay, so I, I, in one hand, I have my battle axe, which I think of as like my heavy chopper. And in my other hand, I'm going to grab my hand axe and ready my action so that if he approaches us, I can whip the hand axe at him before he gets to me. What are you doing? Okay. Uh... Getting ready to not die. You you think you're gonna fight this thing? Look at the look at the size of that thing. Yeah, I hope that we don't have to fight it. But if it comes over here, oh really? Thanks guys. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> you watch uh, as it uh, it puts its foot down on the head of the merchant and squishes it like a watermelon. Oh man, that is not cool. <laughs> I only hear the sounds. I stand by. I what stand just by happened? Jack. Whoa! Oh shit! Nothing, nothing good is happening here. <laughs> I look at uh, Dan. I'm like, well, Dan, me and you, I guess. <laughs> Don't go that way. I'll put my hand on. Go Come around. this way over here. Come here. I'll put hey, my hand on Jack's shoulder and <clears throat> say, "Be not of my, be not afraid, my friend. We have the power of Helm behind us. I will not be coward to this beast." Fuck Helm! Don't go towards that thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. how about no thanks and i'm not going over there i'm waiting for him to come over here and if no he don't does, wait we'll for do... him to come over there either come over here oh, oh damn he's gonna fucking you... die. Dan, Dan, can i grab him and hold him back uh it would be a contested strength throw okay well, he's distracted uh, with daniel we all run past him i try to hold dan back <laughs> Okay, go ahead and roll strength, and then Matt can either roll strength or dexterity. Yeah, I win. Okay, so you managed to keep him back for now. I'm like, whoa, buddy, whoa, 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 whoa. There's, Let's there's think a about way this around over here. There's a way around. Come over here. I'll yell out to the creature. <clears throat> what are you, what do you say? Oh, fuck. Stand down and let us pass. Oh, man. Well, you're back uh, by me because I held you back. You're right. So come back here. I'm like, I don't think we want to get its attention. It's okay. So it replies to you. It says, prove to me that you are worthy. Oh, fuck, man. Run. 
And what proof do you need? Those who wish to get the artifacts must prove that they are brave, fearless, as what will brave stand means. against an enemy. <laughs> will stand against an enemy even though they know they are outmatched. And I'll stand forward. Okay. Again. I guess it's time to do this. I walk up, but I'm still holding my action so that the minute that it gets within 20 feet, I rip my hand axe at it. You guys are gonna fucking die? <laughs> when, I mean, maybe. Carver, <laughs> when when the beast is distracted, we go past it, right? <laughs> I can't let them fucking die alone. Come back here, we'll go around. I'll yell at the beast again. I do not wish to fight. I just wish to pass. And I'll take another step forward. Is that within 20 feet? Almost. Uh, uh, he's I'm... within 20 feet. You're within 25, it looks like. Yeah, he's square five. Out. Let the axe rip. <gasps> this is how okay. we do it, boys. No. Go ahead and make an attack roll. Cool. Hey, you have an inspiration, Jack. Thanks to Oh, I do. Thanks, Illbeard. We're going to need that. You're definitely going to need that. Yeah, I'm going to die. All right, let's see. Actions. Hand axe. Boop. Oh, my God. You're going to die. Ooh, I crit. Nice shot. I throw the hand axe into its face. <laughs> so that would be nine damage? Uh, uh, yep. Yeah. Nine damage. You rolled Five a two on four. your d6. As long I as did. we're not in an initiative, Five is I the d6 my mace. Plus three, and oh, the yeah, crit damage is an extra d6. So I rolled uh, nine damage in its face. Let me figure out how we can roll initiative here. Daniel just got two inspirations. Oh, yeah, we because, just, uh, uh, he ain't scared. Because he ain't scared. All right. Hey, Ryan, do you remember how to roll initiative in this? Yeah. You just roll a d20. Oh, uh, click the initiative tab. It's like... I can't click it. Only you can do it. It's uh, maybe the second to the last? Mine's an eight. On your left-hand <clears throat> toolbars. You see, roll see dice you roller. Roll <laughs> That's oh, awesome. My, my first one is... A oh, what an interesting... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somehow I got a zero. I was like, nope. Do you see that toolbar, uh, Alex? I botched uh, with a I negative one. So go to That's the left-hand right. toolbar, and maybe under the yep. die, I'm gonna fill my copy up. there should be an initiative one. Let's see, I have help and docs, shortcut references, report a bug, and then there's advanced dice roller. There it is, oh, turn order. there we go, turn order. Okay. And then you can mark what people rolled. I we're not assigned any token. I'm not already. Yeah, yeah. I see Brian, Matt. Uh, let's see. You have to add people to the initiative. And I don't know how you do that. Maybe you click the token in the settings. Mm. Like the My... gear icon in each token. I guess I'll... Uh, let's see. But I'm going to roll my initiative. Yep, go ahead. Just dexterity, right? Because we don't have proficiency. Oh, that doesn't yep. matter anyways. Yeah. Holy cow, man. I don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Jack doesn't want to either, but he knows this, the next step in this equation. Like, you need to be brave. You haven't even here. tried all the options. Your first option is to go and throw an axe at the creature that's ten times your size. Yep. Option number one, do it. We could have gone around him, man. <laughs> uh, and more, because I planted an axe in his head. <clears throat> and then there's a button on that thing, Alex, that lets you sort them by order at the end. It, it might matter. Josh might just die. Ooh, 44. I'm an 8. I'm not a 16. <laughs> Yeah, it just doubled everything. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, for some reason it's doing some weird stuff here. It's kind of something you gotta finagle with to learn. Yeah, oh, I see they're sort of numerically descending. 
I just That's got right. Fixed. 44. The right order. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, Matt should be ahead of me. Uh, let's see. Matt got a 15. No, I got an 11. I it's first scroll in 11. Oh. But it's still more than me. I got an 8. Oh, because yours doubled as well. Yep. To Brian Botch. Yep. Nice. With a negative got a one. Zero <laughs> <That's> my mod. <laughs> Yeah, oh, 16 good. minus 1. Okay. I was Mark. like, oop. Why does that... No, no, he's no, I... 1 he's minus first? 1. Hobbs is 0. There you go. Oh, okay. And me and Matt should switch places at some point. It's um... probably not ordering it right because we're not actually tokens. I don't know. That's fine. I Whatever. don't know. Weird. It keeps doubling it for some reason. Yeah. Whenever I click to sort it. I think That's... you need to click the gear icon on my token and add me into initiative or something. I have the option to add into initiative. Let me just quick like do the monster. Well, you guys are sorting this. I'm going to take a quick piss. Yeah, you're going to be pissing in a second. <laughs> you know, I didn't know Delaron Cooper was with us. That's you, you <laughs> fuck. You're just running in. I'm being brave, yo. I'm doing the right thing. Ooh, I do not like it. I didn't attack it. That's true. So that's the right initiative there, then? Yes. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, I see Brian rolled initiative twice. That's oh, why. that's what's going on. Okay. I, yeah, I, I was looking at the bottom I did one. Too. I, I thought I had... Yep. Yeah, that's yeah, why we'll I thought Matt was at a 15 one. as well. Because you and his was 15. right next to each other. Yep. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, yep, that this makes sense. Yeah, so oh. yeah, he rolled initiative twice just like I did. Yeah. Zero and eleven. Yeah, I don't remember how to add tokens to initiative. There's a way to I think it. I just have to have it up before you guys roll, I think. And then when your characters roll it then it would just automatically add it. Did Josh There's a way to do it after initiative? the fact, too. Oh, I got it. Here, so right-click my token. Mm -hmm. All the way at the top, it says Add Turn. Ah, uh, okay. There we go. And that'll add me to the uh, initiative order. But, I mean, we're good right now. I'm waiting to see Josh die. Are we still waiting for Josh to get back? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he's the most important one right now, because when I see him die, I'm running to the left up these stairs. <laughs> I'm here. I threw the axe to the face, yes? Yes. Okay. You started so this shit. To his face. Squablam. All right, I guess this is where we do it. Yeah, so, I uh... You do see the uh, axe glance off of him. It looks like it didn't do as much as you'd hoped, but... Uh... Oh, mm -hmm. that's bad. I curse and Sylvan. Oh, question, question, guys. Do I have my spells yet or no? No. Nope, not yet. <laughs> we don't have anything, man. You have faith. That's about it. Let's see. So we would start turn order with Ryan. Mm. So he threw an axe at it. I'm going to save my turn to see if he dies. So I will. My reaction will be if he dies, I run to the stairs. <laughs> you do nothing on your turn. That's great. Thanks. Well, no, if you die, I do sec. something. What did you roll for initiative again, Ryan? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay. Oh, you must have rolled a 20. Natural 20. 
Or 19. No, I have okay. A plus three. Gotcha. So if he uh, dies. So... Actually, I'll say if any one of them dies up there, I'll run to the stairs. Over, like, uh, here? Yeah. Perfect. That's okay. exactly what I do. So, yeah. I hit him with the axe, it glances off, and does little damage. I curse in Sylvan, and I say, that was a bad fucking idea. Hey, uh, he comes walking up. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bowling ball through the pins. <laughs> That's uh -huh. terrifying. He didn't walk up here. He fucking jogged over there. <laughs> he took a step. <laughs> He's yeah. here. Uh, you should apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Do you say that to me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's probably a little late for that. You should apologize. He uh, holds his mace up like he's preparing to strike. But okay. he does not strike yet. Uh, so now we're at Matt's turn. Uh, oh... Hold my action to dodge. <laughs> you don't dodge in this game. Really? And well, you can dodge, but that is your action. Yeah, I'm holding my action so when he swings, I'll take the dodge action. So you're right? the guy with brass nuts here who talked me into coming up here and doing this, and you're going to stand there and look scared. <laughs> no, I'm going to yell. Yell at him. Uh... I... Just, just step aside. Step aside. You will oh. let us through. Okay. It was nice knowing okay. you guys. And we're at Josh. Can I circle around behind him? Yeah. Okay, so I circle around behind him and try to divide his attention. I'm like, there's only one way past him. <laughs> you numb nuts. He wants us to fight. And then I swing at the back of his knee with my battle axe. Okay. Go ahead and roll to attack. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to do the two-handed variety. What do you mean? For the long sword? No, I have a battle axe, but it, I can do a d10. Ah, whatever. I use one hand, I guess. Just I don't think it makes two to it, right? No, or it changes the dice. End. Changes the die. I think there's an option where, uh, in D and D Beyond, where you can change it to be versatile, it's similar to how you would change it to always roll at advantage. Um, I believe if you go to click the weapon, yeah, in the right hand screen you should see like customize and I think that'll show you the two hand version you just check the box um customize um to hit override to hit bonus damage bonus silver weight override cost override and my time display as attack nope that's not okay. on there don't know then Whatever, screw it. I just do it, the regular just thing. Do it. I do it. Well, I don't hit him. <laughs> oh, it has two handed down there. Slash him. Oh, ah, okay. That's how it works. Okay. So I don't hit him. I miss. Okay. Uh, you actually hit him, but you do not seem to have any effect when you hit him with the weapon. All right. Kind of. And we're now at Brian. I curse again in Sylvan. Okay. <laughs> you guys are so dead. 10, 20, 30. Oh my god, you're going to die too. And as, as far as I can. Uh. Go and then I'm going to Pia! throw the dagger at it. 
Nice. 14 to hit does not hit. Oh, God. <laughs> so again, Arr. it clangs off of his armor. <laughs> Arr! That's great. <laughs> Send your bird after him. The dead Bird's bird. not there right now. Oh. And we're back at Ryan. Oh, God. I'm like, do something. I come over here while they're distracting it. And I want to see what's to the left of me. Okay. Oh, well, that wouldn't have helped anyways. Um, that's as far as I can move. I will also throw my dagger. Okay, go ahead and roll the hit. You guys are crazy, I yell. Did that do it? No, that didn't do it. I That's waste my dagger. Oh, he you waste your dagger. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, I yell as I throw my dagger. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm like, well, <laughs> it's sure to wake you up in the morning. This is better than a cup of coffee. <laughs> is there a door Ooh. at the end of this room? Oh, let me see here. I mean, amazingly enough, Jack is grinning from ear to ear while he sweats. Yeah, you're going to be split ear to ear in a second. Probably. I saw it watermelon head. <laughs> it makes my face off. Say where Josh is, you guys would get about that for view. You did see Actually, watermelon Josh head, but I'm... Probably also be able to see in here. Oh, Nice. I'm betting that that guy didn't fight. I'm betting he tried to run. I have uh, insight. Yeah, go ahead and make an insight check. Okay. Well, he didn't really stand up to the fight. Look at his head. Insight. Oh, nope, I roll a five. I'm too nerd. I'm too jumpy about what's going on. And for good reason. Uh, the mace... As he's swinging oh, around, comes up and hits you. Oh, we'll see God. if it does hit you. <laughs> it comes up and hits you. I love the question. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I die. <laughs> Was that a question? <laughs> I don't think the first swing might kill me. Was a sixteen to hit hit you? I mean, my AC is a nine, bro. Okay. Uh, he does non-lethal, so he puts you down to one hit point and drops you. One or... So, I mean, zero? He can leave me at zero for, with lethal. Oh. With yeah, lethal. he'll leave you at zero. Okay. Non-lethal. Bam! He knocks me stupid. I'm down. Uh, he uses the momentum to come to the front and swings again at <gasps> Matt's character. Shit. <laughs> Does 11 hit you? Uh, no. Wait, okay. do I have my chainmail on yet? No. Hey, you could, but if you do, you'd be at disadvantage to do everything. Strength and dexterity related. So you probably would not want to do that because your attacks would be um disadvantage too. Well, he hasn't made an attack yet. I'll say you can choose to have it or not with you. Um, you were dodging. Well, I, yeah, I was dodging, so I'll take it off. Dodge. Oh, dodge makes it as a disadvantage anyway. Right, right. So let me actually try rolling. And another. 11 is my armor class. Now, technically, okay. he botched. Does that matter on an attack? Oh, roll? I did not even notice that. Okay, mm -hmm. so yeah. Uh, he comes around, tries to swing, and uh, whips yeah, I didn't over notice your that head. either because he has plus 10 to hit. <laughs> Yeah, you cleaned my clock pretty handily. God. You sprayed my teeth all over the floor. <laughs> okay, we're back at Matt then. You want to dodge again? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep, I will hold my action to dodge. And I will yell out, You must tell me now if you are of light or if you are of evil. 
He's fucking evil. Run. Uh, there goes my head. <laughs> Squish. We're at uh, Josh now? I'm out. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Uh, so then we're at Brian. Right. You got a new character written up, Josh? Always. Oh, you uh, claw it. You claw it. That's tough. <laughs> I, I'm, <laughs> I am super effective. <laughs> uh, then I'm going to, I'm going to try to do like a little drive-by. Like I'll run up, I'll claw it, and I'll keep going. You give it an so attack I opportunity. Would... Do you really yeah. want to do yeah. that? Yep. Oh God. In Turtle theory. down. Skadunk. Wow. So Twelve eight. Has got a high nah, it doesn't. Wow. <laughs> Clang clangs off my shell. This thing sucks. Bite my shiny metal ass. <laughs> <laughs> So now we're at uh, Ryan again. Yes. Ryan will continue moving up that way. So like right here. I want to get a better view of everything. Maybe there's something in this room that can help us. What's to the know. left of me? Fucking Daniel went up and said, let's do this before we got to look around. <laughs> That's why you get an idea for an overview. Uh, that's just an alcove. Stairs. Oh, see, we could have gone up those stairs. Mm. Well, I will pull out my crossbow, which I am also not proficient with, so just my dexterity. Oh, don't botch, don't botch. Oh, you're a halfling. I'm good. Yeah, I don't... Well, <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> Shoot me with a crossbow while I'm down. Oh, I don't have a crossbow. Fuck! I throw my other dagger. That's right. There goes my second dagger. <laughs> Clang. Clangs off of his armor again. Yeah. Maybe you should talk to... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do, guys. You're so not going to beat this to... thing. The Sentinel's turn, and uh, it sets its maul down and uh, starts laughing. Because it just crushed someone's skull, it's laughing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Now, it, his voice echoes out, this has been, this has been good. You have done very well. This has been good. You have done very well. Nice. <laughs> you seem worthy. The turtle seems worthy. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Sentinel, where can we find the artifacts? <laughs> so he actually pulls out a, a sack from actually inside of his body. So <laughs> and uh, he motions for you to put your hand in the bag. <gasps> and I do. Yeah. Gonna... So Matt's the first one. Or... I'm going to grab Captain Busted down here and uh, drag him back. Can't drag you. Okay. I'll feed him a potion. <laughs> Okay. Can we feed him a potion, or does he have to be conscious for that? Uh, he's conscious. Uh, he just is badly welted over the back of the head. Unconscious? So I'm just kind of stupid with it, basically. Yeah. Concussed. Yeah, I've been concussed. <laughs> Here, drink this. It's okay. Me. I'm like, did we win before I down it? It's a potion of poison. 
What? <laughs> did we did we win? Did we beat him? <laughs> no, we didn't beat him. We fuck. <laughs> he uh, gave bummer. up, I guess. So let's see. I drink the potion. I go pick up my hand axe where it clanged off of him. Yeah, I get my daggers. So Matt's the first one to pull a uh, a thing out of the bag. Uh, you reach in and you pull out a crown. Hey, look, you got one of those too. And uh, you should see something in your handouts, Matt. Let's see, where do I find my handouts? That's your second little look. tab by your chat bubble. Yep. The Guardian? I don't see anything in hand. Oh, is it just for Matt? It's, it's just, just for Matt. Matt. Okay. Oh, and then he, uh, Let's see. Who's the next one to come up to the Sentinel? I'm there now, so I'll reach in. Okay. I'm going to cautiously step forward and make my way to the satchel and mm -hmm. also take my loot from this never ending bag of loot. Okay, right. Josh, it should be in his journal now. While you guys are doing that, I'm actually looting the watermelon head guy. <laughs> if he brought anything good. The one who is uh, not worthy, apparently. It looks like he has a, uh, a small empty potion of healing by his side, but that's all you see on him, oh. other than uh, he does have a sack of gold. Aha, I take the gold. Arr. Okay, uh, I found 50 gold. Yeah. Oh, shit, <laughs> man. You're rich. Oof. Share a little bit. Okay, I have a, a magic shield that lets me take more ass whooping. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> right. Do you want to get fucked up instead? Do it. That's awesome. I will reach into his satchel, but I probably got to kind of like dive in halfway in my body and just pull it out. Okay. Each of you should have in your handouts as you pull out your item. What is in there? Sweet. It should oh, be sweet. a blank of the hero, depending on what you pull. I would like to stick watermelon guy's hand into the bag. <laughs> <laughs> you put the dead guy's hand into the bag and see if something comes out. I and see if wait. he can pull something. <laughs> Nothing it, comes out when it you might do. work. <laughs> I, I knock his, I knock the dead guy's hand away, and look at it, Carver, and say, "Have some courage, my man." Oh, shit. Okay. Everyone didn't just go silent, right? No, I'm... Can we're you hear reading. Me? Oh, yeah, we're okay. All, we're all reading at the same time. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> we all went just quiet making, because we're reading. Making sure my uh, Twit or my Discord on, didn't just mess up. On Twitch, I'm seeing the Blade of the Hero. Oh, that's probably because Ryan... Oh, that's my screen. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, you should have something in your own handouts. Uh, there should be... Uh, Ryan said it was the second tab. Mm -hmm. and I have the spell book of the hero. And nice. anyone who has a thing that you can do at the start of the day may uh, choose to do that now. All right. uh, well, I don't have anyone uh, to kill right now, so it's probably not a good idea. Who looks the most squishy? That would be me. <laughs> no, it's probably Brian. Okay. It's probably Brian. I rolled a seven on my D twenty. At the start of uh, each day, roll a D twenty. You learn a new cantrip or have an additional effect added to the cantrip you already know if you knew it. Cantrip is lost at the end. I have to tell me what seven means. So seven you learn the cantrip uh infestation for the day. Oh, oh. <laughs> I oh, cast it on wrong. the mountain man robot. Serious. You're gonna get us killed. Do you actually do that? Yeah. 
I designate you. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta see how this shit works. Oh no. <clears throat> I think we're done, guys. I don't think we have to do this anymore. <laughs> he has to make a constitution save. I don't think it works on constructs, although I don't know what this thing is. Yeah, I, I have well, no see. idea. Do we have you, you just it. randomly gave me the infestation cantrip. Oh, yeah. It does. It's immune to the poison, so yeah, it would do nothing. So the just bugs crawl all just over it. it, basically, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Crawl into its crevices. Mm, crawl out of its crevices. Tickle its underparts. And everyone gets their level one, basically, at this point as well. Okay, oh, nice. okay finally. Uh, we we level up to level one. We did so it. Alex, yeah. you said it was, a, it was a crown that came out of the bag at first? Yep, it it is a crown at the moment. You can change what it is so at this point if I'm you'd gonna, like to. I'm going to turn it into boots. Okay. And I'm going to uh, slip them on and look at everybody and like... Check out my new kicks. Man. You're wearing a crown on your feet? Nope. They turn into boots. Uh, so your headpiece turns into your foot piece? That is not hygienic. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Let me level my character up. That's what I'm going to be doing. Mm hmm. Oh, I'm good. Yeah, I'm shouldn't already done. be too hard to get to level one. But uh, no. Oh, let's see. So, oh, I need to at first level, you know, three cantrips and six first level spells. All right. Oh wow. Yeah, dude. Do you know what? I'm gonna actually edit my character real quick. So I don't want to take Arcana unless you think I. Mm, I'm not really that smart. I mean, I'm not super wise, but I took a crap ton of wisdom skills because they sure. made sense with my character concept. So the uh, sentinel goes back to his uh, the center where it appears that he had been standing for a while, and he basically powers down. Hmm. Ooh, I'm going to search his bag. Okay. You reach I... in. Don't feel yeah. anything in the bag. In fact, you I, don't even feel the uh, the outside of the bag. Like, you can't reach in and feel the bag itself, even. Is it clasped in his hands, or is it, like, hooked to a belt buckle? It's in uh, his chest. Oh. It was, it was clasped in his hands, but it's loose enough where you think he could pry it off. I would like to pry it out of his um, powered-down hands. Okay. Uh, you get a bag of holding. <gasps> what? That's right. That's right. And before we're done here, I'm definitely going to search the rest of this place. Dude, empty the bag of holding. I turn it nope. inside out and yell, empty. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing comes out. Okay. okay. Seems was the only shot. thing in there was those. At least it wasn't mayonnaise. <laughs> Thank God. I put my armor on. Because now I magically know how to use it. Yes. Uh, da, 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 da. I think that was it for leveling up for my guy. That's pretty easy. This weapon, the blade of the hero, is it a dagger or a short sword? Uh, it's basically a it's more like a uh, finesse it's more like a rapier but mm -hmm. uh it's essentially a short sword so it has the properties of a rapier yeah it has the finesse property that is a short sword is it a light weapon oh it does uh it is considered a light weapon yes okay so that'll work for me thank god I will have to homebrew this thing. So yeah, I want to search everywhere. It looks like there's another walkway above us. 
These statues that have swords, are those stone or are those real swords? Uh, those are the statues themselves are stone, but there are real swords and armor on them. Hey, hey Jack. In fact, I think. Jack, yeah, what's up? You want to come yeah. help me pry these swords out? Uh, sure. I'll load yeah, you my crowbar. Okay. You do oh, actually yeah. take the sword out of the hand of those statues, and it slips out pretty easily. You don't actually have to pry oh, it out. Look at that. Never mind. I got this. Okay, cool. Maybe check, like, the desks and everything around. Uh, for what now? For anything. Uh... Okay. I check for anything. Uh, what area are you looking in? I'll look over here. Are there, like, desks and stuff? What are there? Oh, uh, let's see. There's, like, weird stuff in this room. Yeah, it looks like a desk, and it's got some papers. Uh, it looks like to be a book. Okay, I take the book. Okay. What language is it written in? <clears throat> uh, looks like it is an elven. Oh, hey, I speak elven. Sweet. What's the book on? Uh, it looks like it is about uh, conjuration magic. Okay. Cool. I take that one, and then I go over here and look on the side for something similar. Okay. Uh, mostly you find over there, it looks like uh, lists of uh, items. Lists okay. of random potions and such. Be right back, guys. I take that too. Okay. I come back out. Hey, I found some stuff. Did you check every corner? Nope. But uh, you guys, anybody here know anything about magic? No. What do you got? Oh, here. There's this. Uh, there's a magic potion list. Don't know how helpful that is. And then there's this book that an elven that seems to be on conjuration magic. Uh, do you speak elven? No. Hmm. Maybe I can translate it for you. Um, well, certainly outside of my realm of things. Oh, you don't use magic? Don't use elven. Yeah, but I can translate the elven. It's not hard. Uh, yeah, let's give it a, give it a try. It's not dirigible science. Uh, both and... of you go ahead and make a intelligence check. Okay. Try to figure it out. Straight intelligence. Mm -hmm. Is well, he gonna help uh, me? It'd be Arcana for him, and for you it would be intelligence. Yeah, intelligence. Mine's the same role. Okay. Is he, is he gonna so help eighteen me out? Arcana? Or are we just both rolling? Uh, you're both rolling. It's You have to basically convey to him what okay. it is, and he has to figure out how that applies to magic. Okay. It's basically like trying to translate, if one person doesn't know trigonometry, trying to tell someone else how to do trigonometry. I do a bad job. From a different language, yeah. I'm like, yeah, there's the swirly bits here, and it basically says it's important, but I don't know how. Yeah. <laughs> so you're not able to get the the correct message out to him to be able to have him understand it. He's like, yeah, basically, that's how conjuration magic works. And you're like, no, but it has additional notes here. And what? Well, what do the additional notes say? I don't know. I'm going to carry you take I, it. Uh, okay. Uh... I just put it in my backpack for now. It's all swirly bits and elven letters. Yeah, it's because it's an elven man. Yeah, I, got I just put it in my backpack. I mean, I'll search the other bits of the room. I'll go look over here for stuff. Okay. Uh, over there, it appears to be a desk. It doesn't 
currently have anything on it that appears to be of value. Okay, I'll go over here. You know, I just look around. I go over here. Yep. Uh, there's a statue over there similar to the ones that uh, a Carver was working on. There's a I mean, sword and some armor. I don't take this sword. What kind of armor is it? Uh, it looks to be uh, one step down from plate. I believe that's scale. Oh, is scale better than what I have? I've got chain. Let's see. Yeah, I've got chain mail. AC 16. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I'll put a scale mail. It's a 14 plus dex modifier, maximum of two. Oh, that's so. not me. Nope. Well, chain yeah. shirt is 13 plus dex modifier, maximum of two. So chain mail the only which difference... is, I have is 16. Oh, sorry, that's chain shirt, yeah. Okay, so yeah, it'd be medium armor. Nope, that's a nope. It'd give you disadvantage on stealth checks if you used it. So does mine now, but it doesn't worry about my dexterity modifier, which is good because my dexterity modifier is negative. Yep. So I'm not a medium armor guy, I'm a heavy armor guy. Someone's crying. Yeah, Darwin. Super sad. Mm, I got a cat meowing at me too. <laughs> He's not used Darwin, to having Shut me. your face. He to me, he's saying. Yep, I closed the door on him instead. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my damn mace? So, yeah, you got the uh, the four statues in each corner, plus the one that Josh found. So there's a total of five long swords and five sets of scale mail. Before we're done here, I'd like to give it a once over. Make sure they didn't miss anything. Okay, go ahead and make another uh, investigation check. It didn't work. Let's try that again. Oh, did it work? Maybe it did. That's well, the same thing. I rolled it four times. I technically uh, don't know what I just did. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I rolled three times. Bunch of plus your attack. So like, why are you attacking somebody? Well, you looked at me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll uh, I'll take my first investigation roll though. <laughs> okay, uh, you do once over. Uh, there are stairs at the back of the room that go yeah. to the left and to the right. Uh, oh, you do notice that it actually goes upward to a second floor, and it looks like there is a small chest right here. And as I can, right here. Ooh. Yeah. That. Uh, you can actually open up. I would like to open. Is it locked? All of a sudden, I know how to pick locks somehow. <laughs> I knew these thieves tools uh, would come in handy that I happened to just have on me by accident. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it is not locked. Uh, what's in there? Uh, you open it up. There is a uh, appears to be a wand in there. <clears throat> I will take this. I don't know what it can do, but I will find out. I'm going to point it at a statue. Oh, no. A wand of summon enemy. Experience. Oh, God. Uh, I'm going to take some time and equip my chain mail. Yeah, that's one of the things I did, too. Uh, it has a small glow that appears when you wave it, and it uh, kind of emanates to about 30 feet and doesn't seem like anything happened. You can spend an hour with it to figure out what it does. Okay. Experiamus? No? Hmm. I'll try a few different um, words in Abyssal. Okay. Nothing seems to happen. 
So what'd you get? What'd everyone get? Oh, I got this crazy shield. You think these are the artifacts? It was that easy, huh? Just, we walk in, we smack this metal tin can around for a while. Whoa. Wait, wait, easy? <laughs> you're funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got clobbered, yeah, but you're still here. Unlike that poor fella. Yeah, I think he ran. Uh, he didn't run. Look at him. At least he didn't run very well, far. I'm just saying, he doesn't strike me as the kind of guy that would fight his own fight. So, He's don't think himself. he passed the test. The worthiness test. Do you think no. other people came here? It he did actually like... come with... Yeah, he did come with a group of mercenaries, and you do see that there are actually multiple body parts strewn around the place. Oh, yeah. look at this. Other I found another body. piece. Got in here. It's a fucking one yes. bath in there. <laughs> yeah, it looks horrible. I'm like, uh, if I had seen that on the way in, I might not have been so. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> notice the yeah. blood painting the walls. Right. Yeah, there was some in like the corners and such. It looks like. Oh God. Mm, okay. Glad I didn't see that when I came in. So, how many fellas you think came in here before us? I'm counting at least ten, maybe. I don't know. You think other people are going to come in and try to steal our shit? I don't know. wonder how we get back. The same way we came? Uh, okay. Here, toss me your crowbar. I head back over to the door. Yeah, you can borrow it. Okay. I pry open the door. With okay. my... Go ahead and do the strength check. Can I use athletics or no? Athletics. Oh, game. yeah, you can use athletics. Nice, because I'm now athletic. Eh, it did not help much. <laughs> someone someone want to lend me a hand? That'd be uh, Daniel. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, Daniel, man. Dude. I'm working my way over there, I guess. I asked Daniel to come and give me a hand. Does someone help me? Yeah, no, I come because Daniel's asleep. Okay, so bam. How now? I think he did okay. say he was uh, having to go do something quick. I don't know if he. Okay, came back so or seventeen. Or... So now being helped, I pry it open. Yep. With the two of you working on it, you managed to pry it open. All right, come on, guys. Pry we gotta go. He's wearing his footwear on his head. Can't even hear you. No, headwear on his feet is different. <laughs> That's the same thing. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, no, oh, now we can. Oh. Okay. Did Sorry. you have to leave and come back? I well, I was right back. I was just was on mute. Ah, mm. uh, gotcha. Hopefully, you weren't trying to say too much. Um, I was trying to help Josh. Oh, oh. gotcha. Cool. You failed. Trying Sorry. is dying. I got this. Okay, so we go back into the uh, into the waiting room. Yep. Man, we're big damn heroes. Yeah, we really did a lot of heroic things. We walked on a ledge, we pried open a door, and we hit this tin can for literally... It didn't even take a scratch. I mean, I hit him. I oh, scratched how, him. How so heroic we were. I totally was heroic. I mean, well, I do feel a bit different. These other two asshats back here certainly made us look good. Yep. <clears throat> hey, guys. I got a magic shield. You're just going to tell people about that. Why not? I'm a hero now. It's cool. Just because they said that they're, they're declaring you a hero doesn't mean you should go uh, flaunting your treasure. Yeah, Put it around I agree. We should uh, not boast about this too much. Wow, guys, live a little. I slapped Dan in the chest. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I pull up my mace and whack you in the face. <laughs> do you really? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I was going to say, all right, we can do that if you want to. <laughs> I, I wouldn't mind seeing a level zero fight. Or level one, level one. Or level one, yeah. All right, come on. Let's go through the portal. I go through the next portal. Um, 
Can I hit the right again, then? Is this couch of course. too heavy to move? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is bolted to the ground. Well, right, I got a gonna... crowbar. Uh, yeah, let's snap off the legs. <laughs> Go ahead and make a strength check. You wouldn't believe how comfy this couch is. <laughs> Right. Strength save. Still, same thing. Okay. Sixteen. Yeah, it's not budging. I realize that Ellen followed me through the portal, and I go back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laying on the couch. <laughs> Guys, come on. It didn't what? work? What are the legs made out of? They made out of wood? Uh, legs are made out of steel. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, 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 I know wow. what I want to do. In this room, there was a drawer that was locked. Mm -hmm. I want to go to that drawer. Okay. I pull out my thieves' tools. Okay. And I unlock the drawer. Go ahead and roll, uh... Good call. Thieves tools. Check. Thieves tools. How do you do that? Can I choose an option? Nope. Is that just dexterity plus proficiency? Yeah, basically. Is that like... I don't have a thing to roll for thieves tools. Is there um... something that you have that is the same roll? Roll yeah, my deck save. My deck save is the same. Okay, you just do a deck save then. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Here That's we go. pretty good. Natural twenty. Wait, you rolled twice. Oh, why is it rolling twice? I don't know. <laughs> you got a sixteen. Sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough. Uh, oh. you find a ring inside. Ooh, I take the ring. What is and it? Yet, all the cool loots. I'll find out what it is. Don't worry. My character's actually good, and I won't keep it all. I mean, okay, I'm, well, I'm whatever. I'm kind of like, hey, I got a cool shield. Look at me. Anything else in there? Papers, notes, things of um, the past thousand years? Uh, it's There are a couple notes, but uh, what uh, languages do you speak? Uh, Abyssal, Common, Elvish, Havling, and Thieves' Cant. Okay. Uh, it is an Abyssal, Whoa. and it appears to have a uh, a few mentions of different what appear to be names. I an Abyssal. Pocket Ooh. list. It's a shit list. <laughs> the kill list? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the ring is a ring of swimming. You have a swim speed of 40 feet while wearing the ring dude sweet i put it on because i am the worst swimmer in the group clearly easily brian doesn't have to swim he can just hold his breath well and he has a pretty high strength uh okay well his strength's like 13 or something i mean that's sad if that's pretty high. I have an eight. <laughs> yeah, that's I fair. have a negative swimming trait. Halflings, need... they just like uh, soak their feet. <laughs> <laughs> you dip your hairy feet into the water. <laughs> looks like looks like Brian is on a coffee break. Yep. yep. You wanna break for a little bit and Should we take a break? Sure. Maybe just like a short one, like a ten minute jobber. Sure. Pee break. All right, guys, we'll take a break. We'll come back. We'll do some shout outs and we will figure out what kind of heroes we are. I think we're going to go to prison. They're going to be like, all right, give us the artifacts. Thanks. All right. Oh, by the way, Brian, uh, what spells did you pick, by the way, for your cantrips? So for my base cantrips, I kind of just went for it. But I did Dancing Lights, Mind Sliver and shape water 
Um, and then I have infestation on top of that. Okay. And that was the extra that you rolled? You didn't have that as a base? Correct. Okay. What first level Figured. spells did you pick? Find familiar, catapult, identify, snare, and tensor's floating disc. We should totally carry this tin can out of here. Hmm. Nope. Cast That's it a hard well. no. For <laughs> <laughs> he probably wouldn't fit through the doors or the portals. Is he I really don't pounds? want to make him mad again because he knocked the stuffing out of me. I mean, I stole his bag. <laughs> Damn, good on you. You are you got some stones, kid. <laughs> I have advantage against being frightened. It's Like I told you, it's just self-preservation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not scared. I just don't want to die. There's a difference. I mean, I don't want to die either, but, you know, it was a calculated risk, I guess. He said, don't be... Don't be afraid, basically. Yeah, so I was like, okay, this is how we do this. I don't know if there was a true answer. It seems like it had to be, but... That wasn't wrong. I'm, exactly. Because <laughs> he covered so right. much distance, and you had my crowbar. Yeah, he, well, he barely <laughs> brushed my face, and he about wiped it off, so... <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so we're back. Yeah. yeah, I think we're all back. I don't know yeah, about Matt. Okay. Matt, you back? Yeah, I've been here. Oh, okay, you're just so quiet, man. Yeah, yeah, Matt, are you sad today? No, there's yeah. good. What's wrong? Wasn't, buddy? Con wasn't convincing. Everybody's yeah. sleeping. You sound sad. Uh, okay, just trying to not to wake everybody. Yeah, everybody, <laughs> who's everybody? The cats. Uh, Emily, and then Rachel. Rachel and <laughs> Matt What's sleeping. Captain Soccer. Mm -hmm. So you guys are still in the uh, the basically waiting room, or did you guys move out into the water area again? I'm going uh, to the water. We couldn't get the couch, right? Did we yeah. try that? No. No, but yeah, it's it, it down. Okay. So since we can't get the couch, I um, wrap myself like a cloak around Daniel's shoulders again. Actually. Ah, ah clear. Ah. Yeah, I still do. I don't want to swim. I don't even care if I have a ring of swimming. <laughs> <laughs> like a cat. <clears throat> Pretty much. Don't get wet. That's my only goal. Okay, so I, I go back into the water area. Okay. I hang on to the ramp uh, and start making my way back to the ramp. Okay, as you enter the water area, you do see a guy who is uh, trying to stay afloat. He looks like he's wearing some metal armor. You should maybe uh -oh. throw him the rope. He's kind of yeah. struggling to stay afloat, and you do see the giant eye in the water again. I toss him on the end of the rope. I say, quick man, grab it. Okay, go ahead and make a be athletics. Lasso that guy. Roll the rope. Athletics. There we go. <clears throat> good roll. Good roll. Okay, you throw the rope and he grabs a hold of it and starts pulling himself in. As yeah, you pull. I, I pull him in. I'm like, come on, man. Let's get out of here. Did you see that thing? Yeah, isn't that crazy? It scared the crap what out of me the first time I came through. I don't know, something crazy. Let's leave. We're out. Yeah, come mm -hmm. back with us. You don't want to go that way. <clears throat> no, it's bad in there, man. There's body parts and stuff. Yeah, so you guys are at the entrance of the waiting area, and there's the giant eye in the center, and you have to kind of go around it to be able to uh, get to the other portal. Okay. I carefully go around it. Did okay. Every, as I say to the guy, yeah, let's get out of here. There's nothing good in there but body parts, blah, blah, blah. I feel like I'm trying to deceive him, and so I start to run my hand through my hair. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make a deception check. Yep. I have a tell. 
I'm going to change my flaw to be that I have a horrible tell when I try to lie. <laughs> wow. He doesn't catch it, though. Yeah, he goes, yeah, let's let's get out of here. Yeah, let's get out of here. go buy that thing, though? Yeah, I've got to go buy that thing, yeah. So, yeah, he grabs a hold of the railing and actually hops onto the other side so that he's, like, kind of holding onto the railing above his shoulder. So he's not on the side with the eye. Oh, he's skirting. He kind of moves around. Yeah, he's he's skirting around the edge there. <laughs> Trying to stay away from the eye. I go on the walkway, but I am going to... Hold on a second. There's a thing. Everybody else is behind me, right? I don't like this question. Yeah, I'm, I'm right behind you. Okay, so I'm going to use my... I'm going to hold my action. Oh, what's it do? Hold on a second. I got to check this out really quick. Um, I am ready to get into a defensive position in case he tries to anything to smack us down. If the eyeball gets feisty, I basically, while I'm moving, am ready to be in a defensive position. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But you're not what doing you it actively right do at the moment. against a creature with a 60 foot wide eye. I, I just want to know. I've got a magic shield, bro. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> if its eye is 60 feet wide, think of how large its mouth would be. Yeah, i got a magic shield, dude. Don't sweat it. <laughs> it could swallow okay. our entire town. Yep, I'll use the magic shield. All right, we go by I At least I go by it. The G stands behind me. That's cool. I'm like, the closer you are to the behind me area, the better off you might be. Yeah, get near his behind. And then we go. Okay. Uh, you managed to make it around the corner without it actually doing anything. It's just an eye sitting there in the, the water looking at you. I does it ever it blink? Uh, it does not blink, no. Okay. I say, see you later, Bob. And then I climb up the ramp to the next portal. Okay. You go in the portal. You're back in the... Uh, catacombs right okay people still filing in do we have to like file past them nope uh it looks like everybody's either went in or they're probably not going to be coming in <laughs> they decided yeah, they don't want nobody else coming in yeah okay so again i mean can i just use my action every turn to be defensive and then walk at a standard pace instead of double moving I mean, are you actually activating the shield, or are you uh, just getting ready to if something happens? I'm mostly getting ready to if something happens. Okay. What? So yeah, you can you can ready your action for it every turn if you want, and just move it slower. Okay, that's, fine. that's what I do. I just go slowly, and I'm like, it's cool. Stay behind me. Is um? Did you ever explain what your shield magic shield does? Uh, it protects people. Okay, it's a shield. Gotcha. Yeah, but it like does it better than most shields. It's like magically good. Except magic. It's other a shield people of that... magic shield. They can protect <laughs> other people, right? Not just me. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so you're in the catacombs. You uh, get to the entrance. Sweet, let's walk out. Hey, we're big damn heroes. Hey, I never yeah, saw yeah, this please. entrance before. Yeah, I forgot to move it to where you could see uh... it. The player's thing. But this is the entrance of the catacombs. Cool. And you actually do see uh, Roland and Grunty standing there. Hey, maybe and, before uh, Roland... you, we shouldn't say anything to them. Mm -hmm. Uh, I look at my shield that's huge on my arm. I'm like, <laughs> <"I'm gonna> no. <laughs> like... Yeah, Roland starts to do a slow clap. Hey! I wave at everybody. I give him my best Hollywood smile. I kind of like, hide my sword under my cloak. <laughs> it appears you were successful. How yep. big is our town population wise? Uh, I saw a map briefly, but 
between it. Let's yeah, say. it's really, really big. It's yeah. basically it's... the equivalent of Camelot. So I would say tens, hundreds of thousands. That's okay. huge. Yeah, very big. Yeah, it's really big. Minneapolis big. Yeah. yeah. Is it a so, coastal town or is it a like in the mountain, like the nook of a mountain? Uh, it is a coastal town, but it has high ridges on one side that has docks below it. Okay. And then uh, it kind of goes closer to uh, ocean level as it goes away from where the, uh, the uh, castle and the, the outer walls are. Sweet. Should have a uh, Everthrown city map if you wanted to look at it. Essentially, the Salt Fair is level with the coast, and anyone who goes through there is uh, doing trading, but they're not actually entering the city. It's just when boats come off of the docks, they can load their stuff there before they head out. Okay. Um. So, did those other two guys come out? The ones that chickened out before yeah you don't see uh you don't see sienna or any of the horses uh did you ask roland or <sighs> uh yeah whoever I, I guess it would probably be roland then, okay did the other two come out the the tall blah 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 man and the short blah 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 man the guy with the knee in the arrow? Yeah, I asked about the knee arrow. The arrow, no. I was thinking about the two that were in the waiting room. Oh, gotcha. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, there were three who exited. One had a, a wound and was taken uh, away to be treated. Uh, the other two left, and they didn't have anything on them. They didn't retrieve anything. So they went home. Those three are the fortunate. And I look at the crowd of where, like, all the families and friends came that came with everybody else, and I just say, the rest are dead. I just look over you, I'm like, way to break it to him, easy, huh? And I realize my mistake, and I slowly hide my crown from my head. <laughs> <laughs> you put the crown on? <laughs> well, I had it on the whole time, but I am now um, moving it to my... Bag of holding with sleight of hand. <laughs> okay. Roll sleight of hand. I didn't see it around. 18. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah. I hide behind the bigger folks around me. <laughs> Give me cover. Uh, so his slow clap turns to a, uh, a frown. He goes, that is unfortunate to hear. While it was expected that it would be dangerous... Uh, so many casualties were most unfortunate. Yeah, come, it was kind of messy. Come, let us go back to the city so that uh, you do not continue to... Do we have a room in the castle now? We can get you a, a, a spot in the the uh, the court district which you guys would know is the more expensive area where either people who serve the crown or uh, are just very wealthy it's, tends to be where their houses are. So now that we're heroes, do we have a like a daily stipend? Uh, we can discuss that when we get back to the, the castle. There is much to discuss. Mostly about the uh, the missing princess and what steps we must take next to find her. Right. Now, was that part heroes? of the contract that we actually had to Hero go stuff. save the princess? I do like Hero stuff. I'm totally into it. Yeah, I mean, he's just that is what it, heroes would do, wouldn't it? Would it not be? Well, totally. I don't know. We didn't get like a contract or anything. Didn't really sign my name. Heroes tend to not do things based on contract. They do things for the greater good. Here, let, yeah. let's go back to the castle. And now he'll kind of try to motion you towards a, another horse. Oh, you got a pony. 
Uh, I can certainly see if we can get one, yes. Please. Yeah, he goes over and uh, talks to a guard, and the guard disappears. Eventually comes back with a pony. Which Sweet. horse is the most unfortunate? Yeah, no <laughs> How much do you weigh, uh, is it Hob? About 450. 450, <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they also, the guard, when he left, he took a look at you and nodded at you, and he brings back a, uh, a very large Clydesdale. There you go. And uh, wait in line with everybody else. Yep. Uh, he leads you guys into the uh, the court district and uh, asks if you'd like to go right to the castle for business or if you'd like to take a day to recover. Oh yeah, let's take a day. Let's go. How about let's we take like... a day at the castle? Day at the castle. Why don't we go to the? You know, you can You're go to a big the damn hero. Don't you want to celebrate this and have a a meal fit for a king? I mean, I just can't wait to go tell my friends about it. I thought we were your friends. Uh, I mean, I think that you guys are now since we're all co-heroes, but I mean, I have other friends too. I'm a friendly guy. Hmm. Uh, well, I'd like to go to the castle. All right, we can go to the castle. No, you can go ahead and like your real friends. I mean, let's go to the castle. We'll go to the banquet. We'll have. I'm, there's always time to go back by that old piss pot later and grab some drinks with my buddies. Was that sentence? <laughs> if you'd like, we can hold a banquet as yeah. it is reason to celebrate. Yeah, I'm surprised that we had to suggest it in the first place. I apologize. I'm. I'm just so worried for the princess that it did not cross my mind as a. A first hey, step. Can I invite my mom? Yes, you may invite anyone you would like to. Don't nice. worry, I already invited her. <laughs> You're such a kidder, I kind of elbow you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I've been making that joke for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> and just how old are you, Jack? Are you about 30? No, I'm 23. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you've been making that joke for about 23 years. <laughs> you oh, got yeah, I was making that joke for a long time before little Jack came around. Right. You're the ugliest looking elf I ever saw. <laughs> <laughs> when the lights are off, she didn't mind. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard that story of like kissing the frog? <laughs> That's what you call it then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we call it something else in the neighborhood I hang out in. <laughs> but seriously, pause off my mother. <laughs> no, you're bringing her to the banquet. Yeah, I am. I'd like to meet this wonderful lady. If you guys said on my mom, I mean, we probably won't be friends anymore. Let's just put it that way. I just said meat. Right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go to the. I like when Jack on. gets all serious. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys uh, ride back to the uh, the court district. Uh, on your way, he does point you to a uh, a few houses that. He uh, lets you know they've been designated as yours. Whoa. Are they nice? Yeah, they're... Compared to the what you've had before, this is like a really nice place. Uh, not quite a, uh, a mansion, but it's like more like three or four rooms. Now, is that for all of us but or is that just for me? Very nice. uh, that's just for you. It's like three or four rooms per person. They're all 
in the same area. We live in the same neighborhood now. We're uh, neighbors. And what unfortunate tenants did you have to evict for them? Uh, these were spares. For the last heroes. Spares. The last heroes were ten generations ago. There hasn't been heroes recently. The uh, current king is a descendant of one of the remaining heroes. Is he now? I never knew that. Hmm. Is that yeah, he... Uh, it's rumors that uh, that even the heroes, uh, after they've uh, passed on, their their children are able to do feats comparable to the heroes. It lasts through the bloodline, even. Oh, nice. And what does our great king do? I don't even know his name, to be fair. Uh, it is uh, King Panzer Vazquez. Whoa. It should be in a, a handout. You can see what he looks like. King Panzer, king, the tank king. King Panzer, I mean, King Panzer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd very much like to meet this king. Unfortunately, he is away at the war at the moment. It is one of the reasons we had to open up the uh, the crypt. So who uh, who rules in his stead? Is that you? Uh, the advisors tend to make decisions that the king would in his stead, yes. And now that your city has some new heroes that you haven't seen in ten generations that passes through the bloodline, are we the, are we the ones making the decisions now? That uh, depends on the uh, the name that you make for yourself. I kind of hang back a little bit behind Carver, and I try to get the uh, attention of the like the advisors, and I give the chopping neck gesture and shake my head no. <laughs> 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 yeah, Grun Grunty is a little bit back further. Uh, he's also on a pony, despite the fact that he looks angry when he's riding it because of how short it is. Oh, sure. Poor Grunty. That's the dwarf, right? Yep, that's the dwarf. Yep. So, Gruntster. My man Grunty. Gruntelmeister. What do you guys do for fun around here? Mostly drink. Nice. I like it. Let's do it. That's the plan, isn't it? I th think that is the plan. I like the plan. You've been pretty quiet there, Daniel. Dan. Daniel. Did he mute himself again? <laughs> no, I'm good. Okay. I'm just quiet. You, you stood up to uh, the tin can, and you haven't said a damn word since. I'm just reflecting on the day's events and taking everything in right now. And uh, what, go what did you get? I don't remember. He got hat boots. Oh, hat boots. That's right. I uh, I have this object. Uh, these boots uh, can turn them into different things that will help me succeed in different areas. Can you make it a hat boot rope? Or a no. hat boot no. shield? A hat boot toilet. Uh, I think yeah, that's I understand it. I can turn these into gloves, or a crown, or a book, or a mask. Huh. Does awesome. anyone feel a little bit different? Sword. Or is it just me? What was that? Does anyone feel a little bit different? Yeah, I feel awesome. I, I feel that as well, a little. Just, I feel like I can do things I've never done before. Yep. Uh, Roland speaks up and goes, It's rumored that those artifacts allow people to pass their normal human limits. Or most people would plateau after a certain point. You guys do not anymore. Nice. Is that because of the uh, bloodline? It is simply because of the magic and the artifacts. And if I was to say, not 
can do this, but if I was to give away my artifact, would that person then possess those qualities? Uh, at that point, I believe you would plateau as you would normally do as a human, and whoever would take it would continue to excel. Is anybody here actually human? I look around. Oh, right. Sorry, Daniel. Bad news, man. Don't give away your hat boots. <laughs> Yeah, essentially as it would work uh, in the rules or uh, mechanics wise uh, these items basically allow you to level up right and without them we don't lose our levels we just stop but exactly. we can trade them anyone want to be a rogue cleric no <laughs> rogue paladin <laughs> no I don't think a rogue wizard would do that well. No. Well, you and the cleric could trade, maybe. I'm good, thanks. <laughs> I mean, the human, not the cleric. Right. Nah, I don't want to be a human. It seems, uh, <laughs> you know, less than awesome. No offense, Dan. Oh. So I cast Dancing Lights, and I make a little glowing orb over each of our heads. Sweet. <laughs> now I have a magical light. <laughs> wow, you guys sure are exceeding your limitations. Now we we'll you need to have lights. So in this world, out of game, there is no mm -hmm. magic, I'm assuming? At least no uh, there is like casting? There is magic, but majority of the people that are able to cast it have spent their life in pursuit of it. Okay. So, so rather rare. than... Hmm? Is it very rare? Uh, it is pretty rare. Uh, you saw Roland do uh, one magic thing where he opened the crypt. True. Uh, but, yeah, you would expect that if somebody's able to cast magic, they would be either employed very heavily by somebody who has money to do so, or... Uh, they would be in uh, basically a hermit that has devoted their life to magic and hasn't now, gotten out much. Not that we know this or not, but so would the longer lived races have more access to magic because it takes so much time to develop it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Like, for example, if you saw an elf, you'd be a lot less surprised that they would be able to cast magic than a human. Right. Okay, that makes sense. And you guys make your way to the court district. Uh, oh, you guys already made your way to the court district for showing your homes. And then you guys continue on to the castle. Yay, to the castle. To the castle we go. Now, when we get to the castle, my main goal is to fill up this bag of holding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You're level one, man. Chillax a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't care. I have a bag of holding and a castle. God. <laughs> and I also have an addiction. Oh no, really? Yes, really. Oh, oh no. what was your addiction? Hoarding. Sticky yeah. fingers? Hoarding? <laughs> oh, I hoard God. everything. Jeez. You will not want to see my house in a few weeks. Away from you. I will be like 10 cats deep and piles of newspapers. Oh no. Oh. You're probably more excited for the bag of holding than you are the weapon. <laughs> oh yes, kidding. this is the best thing ever. Just with me. Well, I owned nothing as a kid, so. Ah, uh, okay. Makes sense. So you are shown to a waiting room where uh, a couple guards stand with their backs to you. Ooh, what's Keep in watch. Here? Oh, backs to me? Or eyes to me? Uh, backs to you. They're mostly making sure that nobody disturbs you. Ooh, what's in here? Oh. Uh, let's see, there's a, uh, a few books, mostly just stories, short stories. Definitely uh, going in the bag. Very nice furniture, which will not fit in the bag. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I do have an axe. <laughs> <laughs> but you wouldn't use it on nice furniture, would you? You're like oh, a naturalist, definitely. weirdo. 
Yeah, I'm like, uh, I mean, I would axe furniture if I needed to, but I wouldn't want to like go out of my way to kill furniture. There's a nice yeah, little furniture. throw pillows anywhere. I want that. Yeah, yeah. There's throw pillows. I kind of start loading up my bag. I don't care if these guys see, but I do it quietly enough where the guards don't turn around. Okay, I'll uh, go ahead and make a sleight of hand. To see. All right, I can do this. I'm sorry, everyone. Kind what of. What are you doing? Yo, man, stop. Twenty-two. Holy. And you do it well. <laughs> so you get uh, a few candles. Probably want to blow them out before you put them in the bag. Yep, and then I'll take the holders. Uh, holders are mounted to the wall, so those right, are not well, coming out. I won't out take easy. those. Uh, you do get a few throw pillows. Uh, there's a few books slaying out for people to read while they wait. Although, if you put candles in the bag of holding and waited a little while, they would just eat up all the oxygen. I'm not going to keep them lit. I'm just saying. Eventually, they'd go out. Hmm. I suppose. I don't know if there is any oxygen in there. I blow them out. There's enough for a couple minutes, I think, if I remember correctly, and then you use it all up and die. A horrible. Death. I think. I think if you put your head in there, essentially, what would happen is you get the air that you had when you went in, but you don't get any additional. So I think that's why you start suffocating after a while in there. It's like oh. ten minutes or something. I'll quietly oh, say, okay. "This bag has no bottom. I can just keep filling it up." It seems. Really? How wide can we make it? Well, don't rip it now. Yeah, um, it's like... Uh, I think say it's a, a two, two and a half. Oh, a foot see, and a half. I actually okay. have it. Huh. That's kind of neat. I take the end of the rope and I stick it in, then I pull it back out. Two feet in diameter. Okay. I tie something to the end of the rope, then I throw it in and pull it back out. Hey, what are you doing? You're messing up my game here. Checking something out. What are you trying to do? First, I put the end of the rope in and pull it back out. Then I tie something to the end of the rope, toss it in the bag, and pull it back out. What happens? Mm. <laughs> yeah, what happens? I think, <laughs> what I think happens? because it's still tied to the uh, the thing, yeah, it actually comes out with it. Okay. Uh, wow, that's kind of crazy. Hey, I say, climb in the bag. I don't fucking think so. Why not? Why don't What's you in climb it? in the bag? Hey, I'll put my head in the bag. I don't want to reverse birth myself. <laughs> I stick my head in the bag. <laughs> What's in there? Oh, uh, let's see here. It's just dark. This bag is powering. I might die. I just thought about that, but Jack doesn't know that. Yeah, it's uh, completely dark in there. Huh. Is it cold? Uh, it's a lot colder than the area you were in because it was comfortable where you were in. But yeah, it looks like it's... Can I see any of the other things? No. I'm going to put my hand in next to my face and think of grabbing one of the candle holders. Do I watch it like pop into existence or what happens? Uh, you don't see your hand. Oh, and okay. when you think of the candle, it you can feel it in your hand, but you still don't see anything. Okay, I pull my head back out. I'm like, that is weird. Here, play with this. And I hand him the wand. I don't know what it does, or do I? It's been an uh, hour? You spent an hour with it. Yeah, it's been an over an hour to tra uh, travel back and get to the castle. So you would know it is a wand of secrets. Wand of Secrets. Here, play with this. Okay, I take the wand. Does it do anything? Distract it like a cat. Uh, let's see. Wand has three charges. While holding it, you can use an action to expend one of its charges. And if a secret door or a trap is within 30 feet of you, the wand pulses and points to one of the nearest, or the one nearest you. Is it attunement? Uh, it is not. I use no. it. Okay. Uh, there's actually a, uh, a bookcase to your right. Oh, nice. And uh, it actually pulses and points at the bookcase. I walk over to the bookcase. Hey, what'd you do? Okay. Hey, come here. It's a secret door. There's a lot of books that I didn't notice at first. 
It's a secret door. <laughs> Stuff the books. Help me get the door open. I start putting books in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> I look for... Okay, you're not going to inspect. I will inspect for the secret cache. Investigation. Okay. Go ahead and make an investigation check. What did I roll? 15. Okay. Uh, it's funny. You actually are looking for a switch or something mm -hmm. and uh, pushing against the, the door. And as uh, Carver is pulling books out, he pulls one book that has a string on it. And as he pulls it, you push the door and it gives a little bit. Oh, I'm going in. <laughs> I'm like, this is awesome. I totally disappear into the hole in the wall. Hey, everyone. Come on. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> You're all going through the door? <laughs> These guards are going to be so surprised. <laughs> Turn around, all the throw pillows are gone in the books. <laughs> We're gone. And so are you guys. Yeah. You all go in? Uh, I'm going in. Dang, I do. On. I'm like, Hob, Hob, check it out, Hob. Come on. Uh, all right, yeah. I'm going to move, cast some more dancing lights and send them in first. Okay. Uh, stone walkways. This is awesome. I closed the bookshelf behind us. <laughs> Click. <laughs> sure. Wait, did Daniel did, come? Uh, uh, yeah, I'll follow. <laughs> this is the best. I'm like, this is great. <laughs> I'm smiling about it. I'm like, this is awesome. Wait, where do you suppose this goes? I don't know. Let's go find out. I start walking down the thing. That's what the wand of does. Wand of secrets. I'm yeah, wondering. Find, finds cool stuff. You know, I wand. had a thought about this just now as you did that. We could take that back through the portal into that room and find more secrets. Mm. Yeah, I don't really want to go back there, but, you know, you can do whatever you want. Well, when you're done with it, I'd like to borrow it again. Yeah, totally. Here, you can I keep it for now. Oh, all right. I hang on to it, I guess. Walking down the hallway. What do we find? Oh, one second here. I'm just loading it up. Are you loading up the secret door that you absolutely had prepared for our random wand of secrets? Totally. <laughs> <laughs> Have we gone off wow. script too much yet? Uh, not too much. Sweet. I mean, if you want to corral us back at any point in time, you can just be like, hey, this is probably what you should do, and I'll listen. Oh, you're good. I'm uh, not I'm like you good. guys. <laughs> <clears throat> that was a lie, by the way. Yeah. You're obviously just like us. I mean, obviously. Die hobgoblin scum. <laughs> Is it dark in these passageways? Are there lit torches? Uh, it's dark, but uh, you guys have the dancing lights. Nice, good job, turtle. Yeah, way to go, Hob. I don't care if it's dark, but sure. I can't see in the dark. Yeah, in fact, I can. Are you the only one that can? Yeah, that's me. I can. This is why I have dancing lights going down. Now, are dancing lights bright light or dim light? They are. He linked it, dude. It's on yeah. L20. Create um, four torch sized lights within range, making them appear as torches, lanterns, or glowing orbs. So, uh, bright light combine slash dim them. Light. Oh, no, okay. each light sheds dim light in a 10-foot radius. Yep, each light all sheds dim light. dim light. Do you think if you combine all four, you can make them one bright light? Uh... It says whichever form you choose. <laughs> <laughs> each light, yeah. So, okay. Oh, like a... here's an oh, actual corridor. Sweet. So well, let me add I'll myself into that. that. How do you add yourself? You go to your handouts, you click your character, and you drag it in. 
Oh, can everyone do that on their own? Boop. Nice. Nice. Okay, so we're all up in it. Dude, you're all up on us, man. Mm -hmm. uh. You weigh 450 pounds. Get off me. <laughs> <laughs> So we can, uh, we, we, can, we, we, can, we can both be in the same spot. <laughs> Is this where we came from? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's where you came from. And am I... I do a... a dead end? What? Yep, that's a dead end right there. Oh, it goes to the left and to the right. There's a door on either side. I go right. <laughs> well, there's a door right me. there. Oh, there's a door. So, Is this also yep. a dead end? Uh, that is, uh, going downstairs. Oh, yeah. Uh, down, downstairs is one small room down there. Okay. What's this uh, one? It's the same mirror as the other one. There's it a looks like storage. Right and there's a door on either side over here? Yep. And right. Are there any crates of stuff that I can put in my bag of holding? Uh, in the storage area, there's a lot of crates. Oh, the storage area. Uh, right. Oh, where is it? Right there and right there. Those go down yeah. to a small room that each have storage right area. There. I am what? going for storage. What happens when you fill the bag up, man? I empty it into my new house. Apparently, <laughs> I turn it inside out and you'll empty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, you guys are going to have your guys' houses filled soon. No. Nope. With his stuff. No. Nope. Uh, so That's just overflow. <laughs> That's a no. So that door, that door to the left is locked. Uh, What about the door to the right? You can jiggle the handle on that. It's also locked. Hey, man, I need you to do that thing that you did with the desk. All right, come help me first. What? No, man, you're Here, weird. Can you're I borrow that work. crowbar again? <laughs> yeah, take the crowbar back. I crack open the first crate. Uh, it right. looks like it has a uh, dried food storage. Oh, sweet. This is more food than I've ever seen. Even at the mm -hmm. soup lines. Look, we'll come back, dude. Just open this door for me so I can go check it out. Um, one second. I start dumping food from this crate into my bag. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. I come up, I come back, and I unlock the door. Okay, uh, go ahead and make a Thieves' Tools check. Or I try. Hmm. I jiggle the lock. <laughs> right. It's yeah, it locked. does not. Yeah, the lock is a little bit more complicated. Perhaps you can give it a good shoulder check. Yeah, how sturdy is the door? You want the crowbar back? Yeah, give me a crowbar. Uh, it's reinforced with iron, so it's going to be difficult to break through. There you hey, go. Hey, Dan. Dan, give me a hand. Uh, I think it's time to turn back. On three. Ready? No? no? Hob, you? Yep. One, two, <laughs> three. <laughs> okay, roll at an advantage. Oh, no. Uh, Ow. <laughs> Ow, my shoulder. <laughs> yeah, he he actually slams into you rather than the door. Ooh, that's oh. 450 pounds of <laughs> That was not helping. <laughs> not what I was Wait, looking for. Wait, it's not a push, it's a pull? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Try, try that again, man. <laughs> Ready? Set. Go. <laughs> Better. Okay, you guys both actually make impact with the door, and it uh, does actually break one of the hinges. Sweet. Uh, you did make a very loud noise, so there are guards that actually come over to the bookcase and go, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> yep, everything's fine in here, nothing to see. Of course they're <laughs> okay. I start rubbing my hand through my hair again. <laughs> Sound. Yeah, I, I didn't know that there was uh, anything over here. Uh, would you guys like to come back to the waiting area? Uh, yeah, be there in a minute. 
They kind of look at each other and then go back to their post. <laughs> What's through this door that we just cracked open? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice. I go in the room. Into the room. And that is another reinforced door. Yeah. Uh, this room has a lot of uh, uh, books to build with bookcases. Well, okay. Very old and dusty. Like a, a lot of protection. A lot of what? Protection for books. I mean, books are important, man. Locked, I go check out doors behind secret entrances. Anyone who found the titles. secret entrances shouldn't need to unlock the doors. Yeah, but maybe they're like magic books full of magic spells that you might want to know. Okay. Pick one up. Okay. Uh, let's see. The title of that one is uh, Secrets of uh, Trethia royalty and it looks like it's uh written in handwriting it's not like an official book Treth do i know the name trethia yep uh trethia is the uh the people that the king went out oh, to yeah, assault. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> gotcha i knew that sounded familiar hmm uh i flip to the most modern looking pages okay uh it does look like it has some uh pretty juicy stuff in there about uh like for example the uh the prince of that area is actually not of noble birth since the queen had an illegitimate child with a uh a commoner nice this one's worth some money yeah, yeah it, it's <laughs> filled with stuff like that where it's very much blackmail. Yay. Blackmail material. <laughs> You're I, hilarious, Bob. I, I, put it in, I put it into my, my backpack. I look for another one. Oh, uh, let's see. That one is... Uh... Sorry, brain fart. Um... I'm gonna go with uh, lar uh, regional merchants. Nice, regional merchants, totally worth something somewhere. I put it in my pocket. <laughs> Do you open it and look inside at all, or no? Eh, sure, I'll peek real quick. Okay, uh, it has some uh, kind of black market kind of stuff. Oh, on nice. who sold what products to who. That's awesome. And uh, about this time, you hear somebody walk into the secret area again. And oh. it is Roland. Shit. Hi, Roland. How's it going? I said, well, I'm in the storage room still filling up with food. I mean, I'll, I'll walk over. I'm like, hi, Roland. How's it going? That's my uh, it is going well for me. Uh, I see you've found some areas that are not generally used in the castle. Yeah, it's it's what awesome. heroes do. This is way more fun than sitting in that stuffy waiting room. Well, the uh, the bank uh, banquet is uh, ready for you if you oh, yeah. are. And uh, did you find anything in here that I may? relinquish from you i start running walk to the banquet i go running up make... the stairs with food in my mouth eating from the uh stock yep yeah, yeah he glances at you yeah Just go ahead and roll deception who's rolling you should roll nice oh nice i rolled an 18. okay surprisingly good at this despite the fact that i have a tell yeah, he steps aside and lets you pass and uh, looks into the other person that's in there. 
Uh, how about you? Did you find anything that uh, I, I can out. take back from you? You asking me? Uh, it would be... I think Brian was the other one in the room. I'm asking Hob. Yeah, Hob. Guys, don't hug him. I just walk away. Okay, then. I'll, I'll, whisper, <laughs> I'll whisper to Roland. The turtle found a book. And I got me some food, <laughs> I say, as I'm chomping down. But you probably don't want it back. No, that you... You probably should have saved room for what delicacies await you. Oh, I always you. have room. Don't worry about Guys, that. Leave him alone. Go on. Go on, go on. Yeah, yeah. and he <laughs> waits for everyone else to exit before he closes. At first the, I thought you were the, talking the... to us, Josh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> leave the poor guy alone. <laughs> no, my kids are in here hugging the cat and trying to put a sock over his head. Nice. Uh, like they probably don't enough. like that. <laughs> no, I mean, don't want to fight back, but Bucky's just kind of a big old mush. Bucky takes it like a man. I walk out the secret entrance. Okay. Roland waits for everybody to exit before he closes it up. Yeah, I walk Does everybody out exit? I say, sorry about your door. <laughs> mm, yes, I'll get that replaced. I can fix it if you want. No need. We have uh, others who can do it. We have more important business to attend to. Sure. We have a party. And then he uh, closes the uh, bookcase again. And uh, when he shuts it, he actually cuts the, uh, <laughs> the string <laughs> on the book. And it yeah. winds in so that he can't reach it. Hmm. I mean, it's only made out of wood. Mm -hmm. yeah, we know it's there now. <laughs> right. Uh, so, the will you... Yep. Will you be joining us for dinner, then? Yeah, the banquet, right. That's yes. Where we're... Uh, right I'm this already way. walking in that direction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a small list of people I want invited. Let me drop some stuff out of my house first. <laughs> I, hand, I hand roll on the list. <laughs> Here you go. I'm coming for seconds. <laughs> People are important. Uh, he'll get the list of people from you, and uh, he's like, well, the, the banquet is ready. You may enter now if you'd like. Oh, sure. Otherwise, an invitation to come by. Yes, we'll get someone on it right away. Okay, and basically, it's, it's my drinking buddies, different people in the guild, including a couple important guild heads. And my, and my mother. Okay. And uh, you guys are shown to the area where the banquet is being held. You're free to come and go as you want. But there is a, a large 40-foot table with all kinds of food on it. Grapes, turkey, mm. chicken, meat. There's are there watermelons? There's a watermelon, yes. <laughs> so I pick it up with both hands and I bite into it just whole. And then I start telling a story about the merchant that we found <laughs> under the foot of the guardian. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what? Boy, that sound it made. <laughs> <laughs> if someone was actually suffering from PTSD, this would be terrible for them. <laughs> Yeah, so are you trying to make it... I'm assuming you're trying to make it sound horrible. Uh, I'm making yeah. I'm making myself sound very brave for defeating the monster. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when, when others could not. <laughs> uh, oh, no. <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll a performance check and a deception check. Ooh. Um, uh, performance and deception. Ah, my Matt. performance. Uh -huh. How did you roll 2DF, Matt? Yeah, I was just looking at that. 2D failure. And... <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you got a minus one, so. Uh, I just rolled a fudge. It'll show up. 
the hell Neither does that mean? Showed up. Is that two, 2D fudge? <laughs> What'd you even do to make that happen? You just go to the dice and on the left hand side and you roll fudge. Hmm. Two oh, nice. fudge. Five D fudge. Okay, oh, you're so bad. Eight for performance. Yeah. Okay, so a couple people kind of shake their head and, at you and walk away. I'm like, uh, listen, people... listen, that's not what happened. This is what happened. And I'm going to tell an accurate version as I can. Uh, but I'm going to try to make it enjoyable to hear. Okay. So the people that walked away from him come and listen to your side of it and uh, seem to stick around a little bit longer. Like, blah, blah, blah. And then I threw the axe dead on for its eye, but it glanced off and my butthole tightened. What? Fuck <laughs> 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 like a part of that story. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, anyone who was invited at that point shows up. So, oh, nice. Guildheads, your mom. Am I the only person that invited people to this? Yes. I don't know. Did anyone else invite anyone? I invited his mom, but I'm guessing she... <laughs> I invited his mom, and she came. <laughs> Yo, dude, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> ha, man. Shot on the mom chokes, bro. <laughs> you like that one friend. <laughs> Stifler. Yeah, no kidding. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Oh God! And uh, got it going on. What can you say? Everybody, go ahead and make a uh, perception check while you're here. Okay. Boop. I roll an eighteen. I don't see anything because I'm under the table. <laughs> <laughs> Table, don't answer that. <laughs> Your head's in the watermelon. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> Jack and Daniel, uh, you guys do not see uh, Sienna anywhere. You do see Roland and Grunty. Hmm. Have we ever met Sienna? Sienna oh. was at the uh, the entrance of the crypt, but she was off by herself, holding on to the horse's reins. Okay. She kind of seemed to have a, a demeanor of being not as happy as everybody else. Sort of aloof. I'm uh, stealthily passing turkey into my bag of holding. <laughs> Ew, dude. <laughs> And uh, I wouldn't way. say. Me too. <laughs> Me too. I wouldn't say Sienna had a aura of aloofness around her. It was more an aura of, uh, like, angry teen that's not getting what she wanted. Huh. Hey Grundy, where's Sienna? Uh, oh yes. Um, uh, I haven't seen her since we got back. She must be in her room or something. She seemed pissed about something earlier. I mean, what's she going on about? We, should, we kind of held knew. a uh, a meeting to decide whether or not we would... What we would do about the princess disappearing. And Roland made a case for opening the royal crypt. Well, Sienna kind of opposed it. So I oh. was the tiebreaker. She wanted to tell the king. Roland felt it would distract him from... The war, which would not bode well in the favor of both us and the neighboring kingdom that we are trying to help. Ah, well, hey, thanks for your vote of confidence, Grunt, my man. Yeah. And it'll hold up a glass to clang against yours. He's Yay. drinking heavily. Clang, cheers, friend. Do you need another glass, I say, as I take his uh, empty glass and hand him a full one? Wait. Oh, always. And I slide of hand that empty glass into my bag. <laughs> he doesn't, even, he doesn't, doesn't even care. You don't even have to roll a slide of hand for that one. 
As long as there's full glass in his hand, he has less shits to give than the other guy. Exactly. He's used to handing off glasses and not caring where they go. Nice. Uh, Roland doesn't seem to be drinking as much as Grunty is, but uh, he also tends to seem more like a, a businessman. Grunty's more of the uh, the Jack type, where he just kind of wants to constantly drink and hang out and party and such. Be a generally nice guy. So I'm going to go and make sure that my mom is settled, let her know what happened during the day. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go settle his mom, too. I say, not now. The grown-ups are talking. <laughs> <laughs> are you really trying to chat my mom up? <laughs> Obviously. Okay. Hey, mom, listen, why don't you grab a plate or something? I'm going to talk to uh, to Hob here for a minute. I can get it for you, hon. Don't worry. I walk with. <laughs> uh, you seem like a really nice guy, and I don't mind going adventuring with you, man. And I'm glad that we're co-heroes. But please don't hit my mom, okay? It's kind of weird. I forget how young you are. I would just appreciate it if you didn't. Which I sort of smirk. Say, understood. Does that mean, yes, you'll stop? Or does that mean you don't give a shit, but you know that it bothers me? <laughs> <laughs> Who brings their mom to a banquet, Josh? <laughs> it's your fault. <laughs> Wait, you invited her? Yeah. Oh, dude, no, that's not cool, man. Like, what? I, she told, I invited her. She said that she would be here after I invited her. Okay, listen. Hob, to be honest, for real. I didn't I didn't realize Hob, that you were Hob, for real. For I'm I'm asking you please now. Come on, man. Well, look, I already put a deposit down on the room. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's only a nice guy for so long. Man. <laughs> a punch Hob in the face. <laughs> Don't know if you do. Uh, we'll see. He'll try. I'll try to. You're punch 18. him in the shell. Yeah. Uh, no, I crit. <laughs> <laughs> I crit punch you in the eye. I'm like, boof! Take four damage. <laughs> four damage. Okay, dude. You're done. Stop, man. The guards kind of stand at the ready and look at each other. I'm like, no, guys, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's over, it's over. While everyone's distracted, I continue loading the bag <laughs> up. <laughs> so I put a bunch of chicken wings on the plate, and I bring them back over to his mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I tell you what, come here. Uh, no, I I'm gonna completely your ignore it. <laughs> like, I'm gonna grab your shell and steer you away from my mom. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I grab a waiter and I hand him the plate and I say where they're headed. And then I turn and I look at you. Look, man, I don't know if you understand this because you're obviously from somewhere else, right? But culturally speaking, hitting on a friend's mom is not cool. Culturally speaking, being the spawn of an old lover also. You're kind of breaking up there, Brian. Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> I'll go ahead and hit you again. Uh, he, he doesn't probably want to repeat it. He'll get punished again. <laughs> <sighs> no. Not okay, look, I'm sorry that I punched you in the eye. You want to punch me back and make it even, you go ahead. <laughs> look. 
And I, and I say, fine. And I walk away to the table. This is how I punch him in the eye. Just <laughs> go back on my mom. <laughs> Yeah, this is bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> Level one party death. <laughs> the TPK in the castle. <laughs> one guy kills the other leave guy over his that. Mom alone. <laughs> well, I'll I mean, go just no. sit down at the table. Um, it is going to be near her. I'm going to begin reading the ritual cast. Cast what? Summon familiar. Okay. Your mic's my, breaking my up a lot. Microphone still doing it? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think there's a uh, a sensitivity on the uh the, the volume where yeah. Mm -hmm. Just gotta make it so that you can hear it earlier. What did I do? You know I found a bunch of different mixers in gate. I wonder what I accidentally picked. I think there's yeah. a cogwheel thing. There's like a slider bar for the gate under uh, Discord. Oh, it might be Discord. I didn't even think yep. about that one. Discord yeah. user yeah. settings, voice and video, and then there's a um, determine Arr. input Arr. sensitivity. Automatic. I have auto sensitivity. I'll just, I'll just lower it a little bit here. I think that I'll, worked. I'll put it at negative 70. Okay. And you're Let's casting. Does anything. You're casting familiar or? Uh, yeah, summon familiar. Okay. You need, ten, you need ten gold. I have it. Cool. Getting your parrot. No, I'm gonna summon a mom. tiny version of Jack's mom. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking knew it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so messed up. <laughs> Oh, oh, Brian, did you see that second part of your uh, your spell book? Uh, yes. Okay. I need a I need a bunch more gold though for the, yeah. my permanent mage hands. What? That's Make little cool. clockwork mage hands that are permanent. Weird. And so it's a nice little gold dump, and I could in theory make a million of them. The familiar stranger is real. Mm -hmm. Ew. <laughs> Just like clockwork. They're clockwork. Clockwork. Uh, Mrs. Jax. Yeah, like out of game. Why do you guys gotta make it so weird all the time? <laughs> I invited her first, dude. She was my <laughs> old girlfriend. She was my old flame. I didn't even realize you spawns were connected. She is not your old girlfriend. Stop being creepy. <laughs> Just ask her. You know, Go ahead, don't be you, weird. Are you Stop afraid to weird. ask her? Why are you being weird, man? <laughs> Say thanks, Dad. Life, life is long and complicated. It doesn't have to be <laughs> long or complicated. <laughs> <laughs> you know what else is long and complicated? I could fix one of those right now. <laughs> If you've ever seen a turtle's penis, it's the definition <laughs> oh. of long and complicated. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to stay in character, Jack. <laughs> well, I think punching him's in character. I'd punch him too if it was my mom. Okay. Yeah, so I'll I'll say at this point maybe Roland will come up and say have you had enough of the festi uh, festivities? Perhaps we can uh, get down to business. About yeah. uh... that sounds good. Party over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get down to business. I swear to God. So he does lead you up into the uh, the northeast section of the castle. Uh, you. Oh, by the way, uh, Ryan, how many, uh -oh. or Carver, rather, how much did you put in the bag of holding? As much as I could. Oh, God. <laughs> Until I okay. can't fit anything else. 
the bag can hold up to 500 pounds. Yes. And Whoa. you could have combined between what everything that you've put in it, you could have put 500 pounds into it because of that uh, storage room plus the feast plus everything else. Yeah, so, so I figured point, most of the majority came from the storage room. And then I was just kind of yeah. topping it off with dishes and knives and uh, bits of food here and there at the big banquet. Okay. So you know at this point, if you do put anything else in there, it's going to be ruptured. Oh. So. I tie off the bag. And I really do have to make a trip back to home. <laughs> But he does lead you to the other side of the castle. Can you give me which, 15 minutes? Uh, what would be the reason for that? Uh, we have an important thing I should uh, walk you through. I was going to bring you to the princess's chamber so you could investigate um, mm. the disappearance. Don't I gotta take a, um, uh, I gotta <laughs> use the little boy's room. I, I walk by behind Carver. And I snatched the bag out of his hand. I oh. don't let you oh. snatch my bag. <laughs> or you're gonna have to contest it. Because I'm okay. you snatch my bag. What the what? <laughs> uh let's see. <clears throat> I would say contested dexterity check. Oh, you're in so much trouble now. <laughs> oh, I got a, I got advantage because of the boots. Yeah. Oh. That's a thing. Uh, so whenever he has the boots on, he whenever he does uh, ability checks with dexterity, he has advantage. Whoa. Okay. Fuck. So he does take the bag from you. Empty. Can I hold on to it? Oh, <laughs> empty. I run. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but he does it in the middle of the castle hallway. Yeah, I oh, was going to, too, when I found out he was trying to steal my snatch my bag. You mm. Bag snatcher. <laughs> what the heck? So, yeah, it is <laughs> books, uh, food, Book. swords. candles, swords, scale armor. Throw pillows. Throw pillows. Probably rope. You guys probably put your rope in there. And it's all mixed together, so it is just a complete mess. Can I dodge out of the way of the empty? Uh, go ahead and make a dexterity save. Oh, uh, man. Okay, yeah, you get, all, you get out of it. I would like to dodge while he piles it all on himself. Yeah, it is, it is no way to get out of it. It's 500 pounds of mashed potatoes and books, so... Oh, sick. I put a book in my cloak. A mashed potato-covered book. <laughs> I'll, climb, I'll climb out of the mess, and then uh, I'll look at Roland. I go, I trust you have someone to clean this up? Yes, we'll get someone right on it. Uh... This way, please. And then I'll look at Carver and I go, it's time to get serious. Can I have you my bag back? No. We are clearly the realm's worst heroes. Let's just get it sorted. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it sorted eventually. I find the crown Wait. in the mess. I need that bag. Okay. Looks like it's a, uh, there's a turkey on top of it, and you have to kind of push it out of the way, and it's got some food on it. But find the crown. All right, I'll grab a turkey leg to go. And he leads you to the princess's chambers, uh, which uh, he goes, these chambers have not been disturbed since the princess has been kidnapped. Uh, we wanted to make sure that people could deduce properly what happened. Should uh, <clears throat> you be able to find anything, please let me know, and we will arrange for whatever we can do to try to find her. Mm. Uh, you do see that the window is still open, uh, and there is a 
uh, a rope tied to the bed that goes down the balcony. We found the two guards outside <laughs> were unconscious, uh, and there was one guard who saw someone on the docks, and he was found unconscious. He said he went to go uh, approach somebody who had a uh, a body over their shoulders, and he felt this thing in his neck, and he uh, woke up the next day. So... Mm. If you do find anything during your investigation, please let me know. Other than the obvious. <laughs> that the rope and the steps out of your way so that you guys can take a look at anything if you want. Okay. Um... I used the wand. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Uh, you do not have the wand react at all. Okay. No secret things in the room. Or at least no secret entrances or exits. Can I love your diary. diary. Uh, go ahead and make an investigation check. And I'm sorry, Matt, what were you looking for? Uh, I'm just browsing around that. Just looking around the room. Okay. Uh, Ryan was specifically looking for a diary, so he's probably going through the, the drawers. There's a small night table. Uh, you don't see anything in the drawers. Uh, you walk around the uh, side and... Uh, uh, Daniel does find a, a part of the, the bed has uh, it lifted up, and you do see a small rag that looks like it was kicked under the bed. Uh, I'll pick the rag up. Does okay. he have to reach really far under the bed to get it? No, it's right by it. it just while has to he's, bend down to while he it. bends over, I make my move. Uh -oh. Just If you have uh, Twitch open, so bad. Ryan is still sharing his screen. <laughs> <laughs> What is what is his screen doing? Ryan sharing his screen, so even his whisper is visible if you're looking at Twitch. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome! I want my bag back. It wasn't too oh. much of a secret. So basically, when he bends over, you make his move and you go to snatch his bag. When he bends over, you you bag snatch. Yeah, right. <laughs> All these bag snatchers. <laughs> yeah, I think that is that Damn. Alex going in and out. Yeah, it was. Uh, I think uh, no one was able to hear it. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's see. Sleight of hand. It's not very good. I was super okay. sad. Okay. Uh, Matt, go ahead and do a dexterity check. I think it's just his perception, his passive perception. Oh. Right? Unless he's okay. actively watching out. It wouldn't matter. His perception's better than his dexterity. Yep, my passive, passive perception's perception a 13. What's your passive perception, you said? Passive is 13. Okay, so I'll say your passive perception was enough to notice the sleight of hand. And so it was just the dexterity check to move it out of the way. So you saw him coming up behind you, grab the bag, and you moved it out of the way before he could get to it. I'm like a little child you're playing keep away with. <laughs> you just put your but hand you on have... my forehead and push me away. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I look at you and I'll just say, uh, uh, you can have it back when you start focusing <clears throat> and behaving yourself. <laughs> All right. You do have the rag in your hand. Oh, no. I'll uh I'll look at the rig. What is on it? Uh go ahead and make a medicine check. Ooh, oh, you need to be wearing gloves. Yep. Perfect. I, I have an idea of what's on the, the rag. <laughs> God. <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Probably did it twice. 
No, you did it once. Uh, That's a good roll. I did it once. Uh, 17. Uh, you would recognize it as some sort of drug. Uh, let's say you probably don't put your nose too close, but you do sniff a little bit, and it gives you a little bit of uh, lightheadedness. I think it mm. probably has something to do with uh, would being I be able, able to, to tell knock someone it... out. Yeah, like with some kind of chloroform or something like that. Yep. Uh, what are you thinking it is? Hey, Jack, come here, look this. Come here, look this. Huh? What's up? It looks like uh, someone used something to knock the princess out. Oh, man. Maybe we should test that theory. Let me see it for a minute. Oh, no, no, no. I moved to the other no, side of the room. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I'm... <laughs> it's like, I get out of there. I know better. <laughs> Knock out the little guy. No, nah, that's not where I was going with that. No, I'm I'm sure of it. I don't see any kind of signs of struggle here. Oh, okay. I mean, they incapacitated her somehow, but I don't know how they're going to carry her down the rope. That would be hard. Oh, sir. I don't maybe think they just toss her determine. out the window. Maybe if we can determine what they used, that information could help us find her kidnapper. Ah, oh, like maybe um, where they bought the ingredients from. Correct. That's not actually too bad. I didn't give you enough credit. Hey, I've got a book that tells us the kinds of places where you could buy that sort of stuff. Well, we need to find out what it is. Well, I opened my book of merchants and looked Can for people I that Can I make another sell. medicine check to maybe see if I know what it is? Perhaps we could talk uh, to an alchemist. No, I, I yeah, open the book that I have, and I look through, and I look for black market alchemists. Uh, let's see, a black market al alchemist? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got uh, Caden. Uh, his name Alvarez. Okay, let's go see Caden Alvarez. He might know what it is, and he might know where he would get something like that. Never heard of him. He can't be any good. Uh, no, but he he's like a black market alchemist, so you wouldn't have heard of him, right? That's the whole thing. Is he in your address book as a black market alchemist? <laughs> I mean, he's like in the shady section of the book. So you're trying to keep this uh, talk about the book quiet, or are you saying it because Roland's still by the door? Oh, is he in the room? Yeah, then I try uh, to keep it. Yeah, he's by the door. He's not in the room. He moved out of the way so you guys could... Okay, so I'm take... doing, like, the whisper bits. I'm like... Hmm. Okay. I... <sighs> yeah, I'm just looking for more clues. I'll I'll open up the closet and... Okay. There's a variety of dresses there. I think it's a very mm. good line of thinking, you two. And I think we should finish investigating everything in here before we go. <laughs> okay. Whoa, Captain Investigation. Dig, 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 dig. Hmm. Okay. Uh, you don't see anything other than the just the dresses it doesn't appear to be anything in the, the closet what's the, the rope the tied old, to the older dresses appear to be size small <laughs> but the newer ones are more of a medium or even a large i wonder what's going on here <laughs> uh the rope is tied to the bed uh it's one of those beds that have oh. a, a top okay. to it <laughs> So it's I know what color. that's all about. <laughs> I know what that's all about. 
Yeah, and the rope goes out the window. Is this, um, like, elven rope, or is this just your basic, uh, uh adventure? It seems rope? like a pretty, more like an adventuring rope. Solid and sturdy hemp and rope. Mm-hmm. What did you find over there? Talking to Brian? <laughs> anyone. Bob? I haven't found anything, really. Let me see what I find. I found lots of dresses. Uh, you shouldn't be trying them on. Damn. I'm just kind of poking around the room. Okay. I'm not looking for anything specific. I find nothing specific. Yeah, you find nothing specific in the room. Right. There was... like, I don't know. I it doesn't appear to be anything overturned or anything. It seems very much... The only thing that looks out of place, really, is the rope. Rope in... and the rag. I'll, ask, yep, I'll actually ask rag. Roland. Mm -hmm. When you found the guards, they were knocked unconscious. Did they have a lump on their head, or do they seem mostly fine? Do they, do they kind of tell you how they were knocked out? Uh, we found empty blow dart guns, or blow dart, uh, darts, blow darts. Do you have appear to have you? some sort of talk. Yes, would you like them? Well, we the might same take was found. The... Yes, I'll go get those. Uh, the guard out at the dock was also hit by similar things. And I'll bring you a, uh. A single one of the blow dart darts that they found. What is Brian doing with snare? Or did, was that an accident? Ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I was just reading my spells. Don't sure worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that unbelievable. I was literally... All right. <laughs> yeah, you were thinking about something. <laughs> so when we go to the alchemist, we can um, perhaps get a, a trace sample off of this as well. Caden yeah. just said. Yep. Caden Alvarez. Is this book by chance pretty old? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is uh is Roland right there? Uh he went off to get the uh the blow dart, so he's not there at the moment. But we gotta keep, he'll be a, returning okay. soon. Like we gotta keep it kind of on the DL because Roland doesn't know about it, but I don't know how old is the book. Does it seem up to date? Yeah, we gotta uh, keep it on the Dan low, because we don't want to let Dan know about anything, otherwise he just takes it all away. Hmm. I don't think Dan's taking anything from me. Just Dan from me. Or you gotta keep it high, Dan. From him. Hi. Okay. Uh, uh, so the book doesn't look like it is uh, too old. Uh, it seems like the further back you go, the newer the stuff is. But mm -hmm. it doesn't go back more than at least 20, 30 years. Okay. So, I mean, it's fairly current. We can always go check it out. So let's do that. I'm going to okay. give the room a once over. Okay. Anything in particular you're looking at? or for? I'm still looking more for communications from the princess to anyone. See if there's like any types of communications. Any letters? Okay. Any... Uh, you can go and roll investigation one more time. I'm going to be going like under the desk drawers too because now I realize people have things locked under there. Mm -hmm. Shit. <laughs> uh, you run your fingers across, you don't feel any hidden I know. panels. Uh, everything that you would expect to be hollow is hollow and everything that you can... You know, sometimes like a drawer will seem uh, shallow compared to how big the drawer is. When mm -hmm. there's a empty compartment, you don't find anything like that. So yeah. you, you think that's pretty solid, pretty convinced there's no hollow or 
Okay. Hidden spots in the dresser. But no, Is like, the... letters sitting out in the open that she's been writing, receiving envelopes? Nope. Is the floor wood or stone? Uh, the floor is stone. Are there any loose pavers? Out of uh, investigation. Yeah, go ahead and make an investigation. Right nope. with me. Uh, nope. Don't see anything loose. Royal I'm... stamp. Does she have a royal stamp? She has... uh, the royal stamp, I don't believe, would be in her bedroom. It would be more in a study or some place where people would do official... Okay. And well, before yeah, we leave, I want to get a schedule of all the people that attend to her. Her servants, her handmaiden, if any. Okay. Uh, you do get her handmaiden is uh, Kaylin Jenkins. I better start writing this down. Yeah. And she's the one who mostly has interactions with the princess. For the most part, there's just one person designated. Uh, I'd say Rowan returns by this point and gives you that information. Because we've already questioned Kaylin. Uh, we have certain ways to make sure people tell the truth. And uh, she seems to not be hiding anything based on what we've discovered. That was one of the steps we did before we decided to open the crypt. And sure. Tried to get additional assistance. But are we for sure that, like, her doors were locked that night or day? What time does this happen? Uh, they were discovered in the morning. It seemed to either happen late at night or during the night. I want to check the lock Later in the on the door. Okay. Uh... They don't leave them locked, but it doesn't have any sort of etchings that match that anything would be picked. Okay. No force entry because they don't lock the door. You yeah, don't lock the door? Don't. Nope. They don't lock the door, but they do had. They did have two people standing outside the door. In this day and age, I'd lock Pardon. the door on my tent, even. <laughs> you don't have a tent. What if I had a tent? It's because you didn't lock the door. I mean, you have a house now. Did you lock the door on that? I tried to go there, but the, this this one over here, he stole my bag and blocked my exit path. I uh, just... I don't even respond. <laughs> Can I have my bag back, please? The, uh... I've gotten very serious. I, uh... You're going to need to do uh, be serious for more than five minutes to get this back. I don't know, Dan. It's been more than five minutes, honestly. Uh, Roland will let you guys know that uh, the dock uh, did not see the dock. Uh, what do you call it? The head of the dock. Uh, they didn't the see any monster. boat leave or enter that night. Hmm. Maybe she's still in town. It's it's possible. Hmm. Well, then off to Cadence. Has anybody like come forward and taken responsibility for her kidnapping? Asked for a ransom, anything like that? Uh, unfortunately, no. Uh, which is one of the concerning parts. Usually, if people would, uh, for example, since we're going to war with a kingdom. Most would assume that it is the kingdom itself that stole that we're at war with. However, if their demands were to, say, have us back down from the war, which is something we expected to have happen, multiple days passed and no demands came, which added to the amount of worry that we had. And the paper closest to her, you, the other advisors, you have this truth detection have you all been questioned as well Ooh, question uh we did not have the thought to uh inquire about ourselves 
probably you if should. you'd like us to do so we we could for sure yeah, well, I think that, that everyone should be under suspicion yeah that is a fair point I, I volunteer myself to uh, do it should you see fit you yeah. Runty and what's her name Sienna yes hi Uh, would you like to go to the, or what would be the next step? Would you like us to do that first then, or would you like to investigate elsewhere? Or I feel that you all can do that as a group. Make sure that each one is uh, witnessed by someone else. Well, two people actually. Yeah. And while you do that, we'll go to the alchemist. Yeah. There's an alchemist. Oh, we have a we don't worry, we know a guy. Okay. For some reason I know a lot of things now that I didn't know. Well then, uh, I will let you go see the alchemist and I will deal with the uh scheduling of having me, Grunty, and uh uh Sienna questioned. Sounds like a plan. Anyone else got anything, anything else? to add? Daniel, mm -hmm. you got any ideas? No, I just think we should go get that checked out. Very well. You should probably take that dress off, Hobbs. Yeah, he said BRB bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> or is that why you said that? <laughs> no, I fully expect he's already trying on the dress. What? Guaranteed. <laughs> There's no way he's massive. He's like huge, ginormous. He weighs 400 pounds. If the princess weighed 400 pounds, there'd be no way someone carried her out that window. <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening. So, yeah, we'll go to the alchemist. It's one way to make yourself harder to kidnap. Okay. Uh, the alchemist is in another district. Sweet. We go there. On our way, though, I'd like to take a look at his book. After Roland's out of sight, out of mind. Oh, can Josh's. I, can or, I borrow that uh, book? Yeah, here you go, man. You have it. I just want to scan the pages for any signs of thieves can't. Okay. Uh, you don't notice specifically any thieves can't. There's a lot of sensitive documents in there, but it looks like the person who wrote it was not aware or did not do thieves can't, so they didn't add additional notes in there Okay. for that. It's on the open you, up, it seems. You can hang on to it if you want to. I don't need it. Well, I'd put it in my bag. Oh, uh, maybe I had I'll a hang bag. On. Got it. I got it. I'll just hold on to it, and if you want to look at it, feel free. So, so uh, you are aware of uh, the person. However, uh, as far as you knew, they were uh, medicinal herbs. Uh, like, basically more like a doctor than uh, any kind of weapons or poisons or anything dealer. Sure. Uh, but that's on the up and up, and this is definitely black market. Was that the book what the says book he's said? black market, but I didn't the, know that, right? Yeah, the book says he's black market, but everybody be like, "Oh yeah, the local uh, pharmaceutical guy." He's our right. herbalist. Yeah, yeah. He's selling stuff on the sly. Mm -hmm. Yep. And he's over by uh, Hemingsway. He's kind of. Uh, more towards the direction of the mud pot in, you'll be bypassing the mud pot in as on your way. You go directly there. Yeah, yeah. sweet. I get on my pony. Uh, I'm just gonna walk. <laughs> I don't want to ride the horse through town. That's weird. What's but weird on the way about back, that? Uh, I mean, none of us had horses until yesterday. We still don't really have horses. We're just borrowing them, right? Mm -hmm. Like. Uh, I mean, I guess if you really want to ride, we can, but I would rather just walk. That's what I'm used to. You can walk, and I'm going to ride the pony. Okay. 
Ride the pony. I'll walk. Okay, so you make your way over to uh, Caden Alvarez's place. Caden Alvarez. I'm going to write that down. So when we get there, who's doing the talking? Is that you, Daniel? Because you know about this kind of stuff. Mm, Daniel try. doesn't talk. He's mute. I can do it. I'm good with people. Silence. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe someone else. I don't know, man. I just figured, you know. No, we can go for it. I vote Daniel. Okay, Daniel, you're the guy. Right then. Mostly because I'm mean. <laughs> Are you mean? Unless you're cracking jokes with mom. Most of the time you're an alright guy. You punched him in the face. I mean, he was trying to sleep with my mom, so yeah, I did. I don't but think I... he was trying to sleep with your mom. He was just he was just having a jest with you. No, I don't have any reason to revisit that old camping ground. Okay. Uh, that's how it is. I got you. I honestly wasn't trying to sleep with your mom again. <laughs> oh, uh, you're <laughs> killing me, literally. It's, it's hurting the inside now. <laughs> So you, uh, you enter the uh, merchant's place? Sure. Okay. Welcome. How can I help you? Mm. Need to figure out what's on this rag. Uh, he will take the rag from you and uh, investigate it. And he goes, is this, uh, is this something that you're trying to get cured? Uh, what does it have on it? The syphilis? <laughs> <laughs> no, we just we want to know what it was that someone used to incapacitate somebody else. We think we're not sure, so we just need to figure out what's on the rag. Okay. Uh, it Speaking seems of that on this... the rag. <laughs> oh, oh man. Uh, this chemical appears to be torpor, if I'm correct. Uh, it renders people unconscious. How long does it last? Uh, it varies depending on uh, the person who uses it, but it's somewhere between uh, usually 4 and 24 hours. And where can you get this? I... I sell remedies. I unfortunately I'm not aware of where you would be able to buy this. Is he oh, lying? Uh, <laughs> go ahead and, go ahead and oh, make an insight check. I'd oh, also like to be looking for um. I have the insight. Signs of Does anybody want to help? Okay. I feel like Does if anywhere might have thieves camp, that's here. Uh, go ahead and roll a. Uh... Insight. Does anybody else have insight but me? I do not. I have it, but okay, I well, rolled an 11. You should roll with advantage because I'm going to help you. Okay. So roll again. There you go. And then uh, go ahead and have Ryan roll as well. I'm not trying to tell if he's lying. I'm just trying to tell if there's any of the signs of thieves can't. Uh, there is signs of Thieves Cant a little bit. He's, okay. he's got kind of a, uh, a tell that happens in Thieves Cant where, uh, he kind of, uh, uh, how do I say this? Kind of tilts his head as he's speaking, and it's kind of the, you need to ask the right questions in order to make sure that I know you, or to make sure you know that I know that we're both on the same page kind of thing. He's I'm going to ask in. Jack. Hey, Jack, can you give me a boost up here, please? Yeah, sure, man. I put him on the counter. Yeah, just sit me <laughs> up on the counter like a little child. Right. And yeah, Matt picks up. He's He looked like he had a kind of a nervous twitch that might seem that he's not telling the entire truth. 
Okay. He looks nervous. Yeah. Which that was the thief can't. That was the you need to ask the right way kind of thing. Right. Give me one second here, Daniel. I'll look at uh, Caden. You look at what? Caden in the eye. Listen mm -hmm. here, Caden. And I'm going to do partly talking, part in Thieves Cant. Mm -hmm. I know that you know what goes on here. And this might be a location that we could even get this. Some of what I'm saying is not actually these words, though. So I'm not uh, blatantly outright saying it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> You're saying something else, like, oh, it's nice out, man. Love the weather, blah, blah, blah. Ah, talking yeah. about his wares. Yep. Talking about his uh, herbs uh, that he sells. However, uh, we're not here to accuse you. We're just here to ask the questions. And we need honest answers. Uh, very well. Uh, what can I help you with again? This. Now we'll show him a little game. dart. What kind uh, of, uh, may I ask? What is on this? Any trace? <laughs> uh, he takes it and looks over it. It's like, one second. And he brings it to the back. Uh, so I look at Hob, and I'm like, hey. While he's in the back, I whisper to Hob, maybe you want to go stand by the back door. <laughs> Is Brian still gone? He's with your mom. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. Man. <laughs> I couldn't me. help it. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Um... Uh, so he comes back and he says... Uh, the poison that was used on this is uh, based on drow poisons. Uh, the rag had uh, topar, which generally uh, someone has to force the uh, person to ingest it. I'm assuming the, the rag was covered to make sure that it got in there and stayed in there. As most people, when they're forced to feed something, they usually try to spit it out. Uh, I can sell this kind of wares but uh unfortunately it uh i have not done anything like that recent can everyone yeah. still hear me yep. yeah mm -hmm. Whoa. Yep. okay when was, the, when was the last time uh i think about three months ago i last sold uh the Topar. However, the drow poison, I have not gotten the ability to create anything like that. How so recently? How long was the princess kidnapped? Same question. <laughs> I'm sorry? How long ago was the princess kidnapped? Uh, the princess was kidnapped about uh, three or four days ago. Oh, okay. Mm, okay. Uh, the most recent thing that I sold was truth serum to the uh, the King's Advisors. Right, makes sense. Do you have any more of that? I do. And how it expensive would, be, would that uh, be for a hero? Uh, I would have to check with the uh, advisors. Uh, the base price is 100 gold per truth serum. Mm, yeah, check with them. <laughs> See if they can foot the bill. And if you were to buy this topar, or mm -hmm. do you create it? Is there a vendor? Uh, it is a concoction that I personally make. Uh, it is commonly known how to make, so it isn't guaranteed that uh, there's there's no recipe, so that I could not know who made this. If I saw the bottle that was ingested, I would be able to tell more since I have some branding that makes it so that they know it was me. Right. Mostly if there's an issue with the uh, poison not taking effect, they would know 
who created a faulty it's kind of a, a black market thing and as for this dart you don't have the capability of making this but do you know who knows uh mostly the information is known by the drow they keep their stuff secret so i would not have any way of knowing do they have a the local um in thieves can't ring around here not around here um but you know I believe where the, i believe and this is all mostly rumor uh the closest uh would be uh slima which is south of trethia I believe they have a ring over there. However, that is hearsay. I can't say one way or the other. Very well. Is no there else? anything else that I... Hmm? Daniel, you got more questions? Hmm. No, not right now. If you wanted to get a hold of some of the drow poison for the blow darts... Would there be someone closer to home that you could get it from? Anybody else that has connections? Uh, you would have to ask around. Uh, Trethia would be probably the closest place, since they're the closer nation to Slima, or the closest city to Slima. That is a larger area. Sure. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't know of anyone that necessarily has direct contact with anyone who would have some sure okay very well so would you like to buy any of that truth serum or are you uh holding off on that until you speak to the advisors oh yeah, i'd probably. very much like to buy some of it but i don't have the gold right now very well then we will uh i'll hold on to it well you yeah, Either don't don't sell it to anyone advisor. else. Unless it's the advisors. And then let me know how much they bought. Uh <laughs> I don't know if we can tell them who to sell what to. Yeah, that's more of a uh on the uh it's on the fly. If somebody wants something that I have, then I I kind of have a good way to read people to see what their intentions are. So, if well, there's do you anything have a ledger to... that you do sell things to. Oh, uh, I have a ledger. However, it is against my policy to let people see that. Even if it's something like Topar. Uh, Topar. It was a man coming in who said that he had trouble sleeping and he wanted to spend a restful night and you would not be able to give us the name of this man unfortunately it's against my policy to uh, disclose that information uh, I did inform you of the truth serum because I know that you have been in close contacts with Roland and therefore know that it's it's something that uh, you would already know. There's less of a deal for discussing something that is already pre-discussed. And how much is your policy worth to keep this information? Well, my the information is my business the second half of my business I should say so I would uh, I would rather set up shop than give that information away or close up shop than give that information away once you slip once nobody can trust you again so Well then, gentlemen, unless you have more business here. Nope. No, let's go see if they're uh, investigating each other. 
Is Brian still out? I mean, still out of what? Oh, there you are. I'm just here. Just listen, you guys. Uh, sort of smooth talk. Black market alchemist. Did you try on the dresses, by the way? Um, they don't fit me. So that was one, a yes. You did try one, to put them on. One look. One look. I was able to tell that only right. the most recent were able to fit over me, and it wasn't my color. Uh, right. Even the maternity dresses. Yeah, <laughs> pregnant. Hey, since it's noon, can we break for the day, or do you guys want to keep pushing? Uh, yeah, we yeah, probably find a break spot. This could be a good natural breaking point. Okay. On our way back to find out more answers from the advisors, I suppose. Mm hmm Sweet. Well, if you guys want, we can do Roses and Thorns before we close up shop. Sure. Why don't you start, Alex? You haven't DM'd for us in a long time. Yeah. Um, well, I'll say my Thorn is mostly not being able to get a read on people, tell if they're enjoying what I'm setting up or not. Hoping that everybody had fun. Uh... I'll say my rose is uh, it is good knowing everything being the, the GM. <laughs> <laughs> you are because before you, Yeah, it's it's very much so it's more planning and less chaotic, which I like, but at the same time also sometimes people just wanna bang somebody's mom. So <laughs> <laughs> So is that your thorn or your rose? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll I'll say my my thorn was just basically not knowing if you guys were enjoying it or if I could have done something better that would have made it more enjoyable, that kind of stuff. Sure. I'll go. Let's uh, see. My rose was Hmm. Actually, someone else go. I got a few that I'm thinking of. Mm -hmm. I think I can I can do uh, I think the thorn obviously is refiguring out how to do this with you know digitally and kind of like Alex was saying um, not being able to really feed off of each other the way we're accustomed to doing and so it's kind of um, adapting blindly and so that's always hard. Um, the, the thorn, or um, that, as a thorn, it's kind of expected. So I don't know how much value that is going to bring up. It is definitely harder to get, especially like an episode one momentum when we're doing it uh, virtually. And we don't have that the, the interplay between you know reactions and gestures and subtler things. I don't know. You got so, punched. I got punched. You got it a took reaction. some work though. It took some friggin' work. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was beginning to think I wasn't gonna get punched. Um uh, my rose probably was I mean, realistically, when I got punched, <laughs> when, when I finally got, got him to, to go for it. Um, that yeah, pretty and, and that sounds kind of ridiculous, but giving, making some sort of interaction where the characters deal with each other and not always looking at the plot it's one of my favorite parts of the game. Mm -hmm. All right, I got mine now. So I think my thorn is when Matt stole my bag 
like a little child and he emptied it in front of everyone to show my secret shame. <laughs> <laughs> Just took everything from me. All my food, all my books, my throw pillows. He dumped it in front of everyone. Last time I do that in front of you guys. I could call. <laughs> Actually, I think my Rose is my character. He's I got a lot of interesting things going on with him, and he's pretty fun to play. And my side thorn is the secret room that we always manage to throw the plot off just a little bit and uh -huh. go off script. And you had a little dungeon layout for us too. That was that was probably my Rose, my other Rose. Nice. Go ahead, Matt. Um, my rose is it's cool having another DM. Like, uh, I enjoyed it, Alex. I like it. I know I was quiet a lot, but that's mostly my character too. Um, so I really enjoyed it. I thought like the visuals you plugged into Roll Twenty were good. They put me there. Uh, you you know it was easier to visualize. Mm -hmm. Uh, my second rose was taking the bag away from Ryan. <laughs> I think you all guys are always going to have flipped roses and thorns. Like, one person liked it, one person hated it. Did um, anyone notice how uh, Matt's character looks like Al from Tim the Toolman Taylor? Sure. No, but that's off. <laughs> I don't think so, Tim. <laughs> I don't think so. Too. And Carver's face is hidden behind the fence. Yeah, he'll be Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, old people um, references. My thorn was Ryan hoarding everything, <laughs> <laughs> which is which led me to my rose. No, uh, I guess it goes without saying. Like it's it's tough to get going. Uh, when you do online and there are interruptions definitely here. So that's kind of something to navigate. Yeah, that so. time where it's like, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Right, right. Plus there's people bringing me breakfast and cats yelling and pawing at the door and... It's just something else to navigate through. That's it. Josh. Oh, so uh, my thorn was that I punched G. Like, <laughs> I wish that I hadn't punched him. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, uh, it feels a little more Josh than Jack. Uh, it yeah, you, you pulled it out of me. I was like, fuck you, man. <laughs> but, <laughs> like, I guess I'm trying to push Jack in a different direction. And so it was, yeah, I wish that I had found a different way to respond that wasn't just punchy. He's trying to um, sleep with your mom, man. I mean, it's true. Again. You gotta defend your mom's honor. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, her honor, perhaps, her purity is long since gone. Oh, man. Wait till you learn <laughs> Smite Punch. No kidding. <laughs> I Smite Punch you. I Smite Punch you again. She's <laughs> gonna knock you on your ass. Um, yeah, so, no, I don't know. I just, I wish that there had been, like, I wish I had had another response. It felt very Cooper-esque. It felt like my last paladin. Like, he pisses me off, punch him in the face. Was kind of a Cooper response. And I wanted Jack to be different as a paladin than Cooper. <laughs> so you still have like, time. Eh. Yeah, I mean, it's session zero. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah. Uh, Rose, um, probably finding the secret room and actually having there be a secret room hallway was pretty awesome. Like... Nice. If anybody ever found a secret room in my game, I would just be like, yep, there's a secret room, and I would make it up on the fly. I wouldn't have a prepared secret room, so that was kind of cool. I was like, what? Um, yeah, 
I like that part. Sweet. Well, that'll be it for us. Thanks, everyone, for joining us Sunday. Um, have a good rest of your weekend. Thanks, Doorstop Idol, for your follow, and Methanolin for your follow. We'll be here next Sunday, same time, bright and early. We're going to probably be digital for four weeks or more, depending. Yeah. We'll see how long. Cancel all your holiday plans. Yep. Already canceled. Sorry, Matt. Sorry, Matt. That sucks. Yeah. I don't know. I'm glad that we could still game even if it's on Roll20. Like, I know Braze like Roll20 kind of sucks. It's not as fun. But I'm glad that while we're stuck in our houses, we can at least still play something. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For sure. All right. We'll take it easy there, chat. We'll see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.